think I'll have to speed up. No, I'm, I'm all cut up. This is really interesting. So Vikings against Cumans. Playing against Cumans is really difficult because Cumans have a lot of options. They could go double TC. They could go with a scout opening. They could go with an archer opening. If you're playing against Cumans, your scouting is going to be extremely important. You need to know what he's doing. Because if the Cuman player drops a second TC, it might be best for you to skip Hudo as a whole and go straight Castle Age. Maybe some. And then Vikings, amazing economy. Leary, I, I felt like his Sif had a lot of calf Sifs, but then there's also Vikings, and that's going to be very difficult for. Uh, for Dow to play against. Leary with Archers is just a thing to behold. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I, this is crazy, absolutely. I mean, uh, I really don't know. This Kuman's choice, what what he has prepared. Uh, the, the Lord, like people like to, to call it. I know that you have saved most of the keys from these sieves, but I don't know. I, I find that the Kuman's are very dangerous for, for good and for the bad thing. Yeah, yeah. It like, could be a blessing, but the second TC could also be a curse. If you're going for the feudal boom, you're going to be delaying your castle age by quite a bit. And Memp. Oh, yeah, there's the score. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's really there. Really nice. There. You're catching up, man. Let's go. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't have to keep reminding you then. I love yeah, it. Yeah, there. but as you said, Cumans is such a difficult save. And I see two on Moot. That's an early, early castle. Uh, second TC, sorry. He's gonna make a TC, but then Lee has the Vikings. What is Lee going to do with the Vikings? I'm really curious. Lee is going to go full aggressive like he likes to go feudal. He will go just castle it and then one TC push. There's a lot of questions that we are going to answer, but for now, we're going to focus Mr. Moon on the Doubt map. Doubt map has one okay. goal on the right side at the back. There is a uh, yeah. on the right side too. A stone forward. But if you're gonna make a Second TC, where you will do it? Ooh. Yeah, that's a, that's a really rough, tough question. Maybe uh, at the I top with the stone. Right. <laughs> but it depends on, like, it's it's always it depends. But it literally depends on his follow-up. If he wants to go with his unique unit, he should drop it at the front on his stone. But, but Moon If he wants to go with flat? something else, I would drop it on the right side. But Moon is flat, that area? Because I think... Uh, it's, it's a little it's bit not ugly. flat at all, right? So maybe no. you can't really make a great TC there. I'm not sure. Anyway, we will see. Of course, when you go two villiers on on wood, you go for the second TC. And exactly, what is Leary going to do in this map? Let's take Leary map. Leary has goal at the back, really far, but at the back, he can wall that wood line till the edge of the map, so the goal is protected. Beres is in front. But he's doing the barrack really close to the TC, and uh, well. And look what, at that early barrack map. Leary hasn't even built a mill, but he's making a barrack. Very early aggression from Leary. He wants to deny the the, the early TC, and uh, Leary is almost there in the in the town center. He's doing the loom now already. Doubt is gonna be super quick. He find already the houses. He's going to go around. So if he's going malicious. And Ooh, Leary, Leary diving the TC. Leary is eating Doubt's TC, but Doubt very late to go inside of his wow. TC right there. He could have easily killed Leary's scalp, but Doubt yeah. a little bit slow right there. 100%. I think he could take it. Well, man, Doubt is an excellent player, decision making, macro player. Not the fastest in the reaction in comparison with some other players. But let's see, because the militias are going to come. No, he's still at home. I'm surprised that Leah got the militias at home. Why? Why? Yeah, I sent them forward. This is a huge investment. Look, he's literally kissing his own TC with these militia men. This makes no sense. Now Go he's forward. Going. Yeah, but but uh, well, I mean, yeah, if you want okay. to go probably with three, if you go with one or two, you you get you get a, a lion or a wolf in the in the in the way, and also your your militia is, is half HP destroyed. Probably he did wanted to gather all, and now he's going to the woodland. That woodland already with a village took, and he's trying to put. I, I believe, I don't know, is Leo going to make something else than those militias? If if doubt is just gonna make a TC, and the TC need a really long time to be up. Yeah, that is true. And right now, it all comes down to scouting for Leary. Because if Doubt does not decide to go for his second TC, but plays, let's say, just Archers, and Leary does the Drush FC, then Leary is going to be 
in a very bad position. So Leary scouting. His scout is running around and he's right there on Dowd's berries. The Dirt is right there and he... Ooh, Dowd's reaction again, not the quickest. Will lose a villager if he doesn't pay attention here. That really is, he's gonna save it, I think. Oh, he's wow, gonna save that, it. That was a but, good move. But then now he need to wall. Need to wall the, the TC, need to wall the wood. It's exactly what he's doing. Lear is coming. Lear is not going for the fast castle. He's doing ugly. Palisade Kid. Who is this doubt? Architecture. Oh, what is this? Walling everything. Architecture. But in the last second, oh, he's not walling. Come on, build the palisade. But why he's not Are walling? Now he denied his own on. build. I mean, uh, he made all these buildings and now he's not walling. But, but why he's still not walling? But, but maybe Leary should not commit to this. And look at this. Doubt is punishing that scout for diving into deep. Just took that fight right there. Killed Leary's scout. So Leary, yes, he's got his militias alive. But, hmm. Losing a militia right there. Perfect micro from Doubt. Moving away the weak woman. Very, very solid so far. Yeah, well, he delayed a little bit the building, but nothing, nothing too huge. True. So I don't know what Leary should do now. Should go forward with towers because he's up with 23 villagers by his economy. Yes, but two tone centers already. And how do you make a lot of damage in those two TCs? To, to doubt. Yeah, exactly. That is Leary right now. Leary is really, really thinking to himself. He will drop an archery range and he's, he's considering like, how much should I commit to Feudal Age? If my opponent has two TCs, if my opponent is walling, how much damage can I do with my Feudal Age archers? And is it worth it getting like a 12 villager deficit, maybe even 15? So Leary right now, he is going for archers and I like the fact that he's going archers, but he should all also not forget about his own eco and try to get a really solid castle each time, which is very difficult, man. We all know it. Making army while also doing your eco in perfect harmony, very difficult. Okay, well, oh, he lost the militia. He's gonna take the ostrich. Yes. Oh, <laughs> well, Ooh, Tao no. took it. Yeah, he gets it. Okay. Tao took yeah. it. Okay, he's gonna try to lame something else, but I, I think he will just do a few arches to disturb a little bit, to maybe yeah, they'll let him yeah. get some gold, and then he will go castle it really quick, uh, or as yeah, quick I, as possible. I, I, I think that's best. He yeah. is committing to a to a spearman though. For the scout. Here he's well, but the scout is low HP. He's really low HP. Scout yeah. is low HP, yeah. But the scout, he did spot this archer going forward. So look at Doubt's reaction. Doubt, scout, Doubt scouted the archer and is now committing to a lot of walls. But he's going to be down his berries. They well, go he for got Doubt the, already. He got he got already a good amount of farm, so he should be okay with that. He's mining his stone. True. The resources for Liu are, are getting there because the Vikings is great economy. And, and to be honest, he's just doing a few arches, walling a little bit. He has six bullets on goal. And uh, I believe what we're going to see is now a castle is transition. And then he will try to go forward with siege. Or do you think that Liu will try to go then... Uh, TCs as well and catch up in economy. That would be a mistake because I think Ooh. then Doubt will have a huge advantage in economy. He's already well. I, but... I quite agree. I think that might be a mistake, but if I look at the field difference right now, there is none. Like Doubt just now got one villager more. Well, he had two two TCs for some time. So either he had a TC aisle for some time or he just not had the food to produce. Either way, he has wood I think Leary is in a good spot. Yeah, but but Doubt got wood barrow as well. So. Okay, okay. That's good. He got early yeah. wheelbarrow and that's why he's not that far far in, in terms of failures. Of course, Leo is gathering a good economy. He's still palisading everything to the second mining camp and about to go up. He's just, like, like I said, he's disturbing. He, I mean, it's a lot of idle time. If you check, he's so many villages idle, True. not working. He's even doing a, a tower now to, uh, to stop wow. his uh, yeah. advancing. I like it what Leo is doing here with this delay. Same, I love it as well. Invest into a few archers, don't even get fletching. Make sure your opponent is investing oh. in those walls. Make sure the tower gets dropped. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, sorry. I, was, I, I was confused. The, the, the wheelbarrow is the, the one for Lear. No, 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 that doesn't have the wheelbarrow. I was confused uh, for, for a second. Oh, so okay. it, it's six villains ahead only. Uh, Lear is on the way to castle. So this is wow. not a huge advantage for for. This is not worth economy. it for doubt. Not at all. Usually you end up having like a 10 village elite, sometimes even 12. Or more, right yeah. now, Doubt. 
Like, he, he is getting to that 12 to 15 villager lead. But it should have been more right now. And, and Leary kept a lot of his eco idol as well. And Doubt forced into another defensive tower. And Doubt fully feudal age still. Yeah, Not with another tower, to up. far from going up. Um, is Leary going forward with Villiers or not? He seems like not. Ooh. Yeah, but I don't think Leary has to. Like, yeah, he had two options, right, man? Like, either drop TCs of your own and equal the boom, or go forward and kill enemies' villagers. He might still go forward. I don't think that's a bad call. Um, but as Vikings, adding eco of your own is just beautiful as well. Yeah, I mean, now it's 13 villages more. So, still he has to be careful. True. It's true that Daud is super far from from, uh, from Castellage. But, uh, well, he, it will grow the economy. And then, if you let Kumans grow, he has several chances. Like, he can make a castle, he can go double his table and spam knights. For now, he's not, it's not ha gonna happen because he's really disturbing a lot his economy. And... Yeah, Leary like this is coming Leary. forward. Leary is going and forward. Yes. Is he going? For oh, there he is. Okay, and man, take a quick peek at where Leary positioned these archers. This is not random, people. Beautiful surround around these farms, idling half of the farm eco of this DC, idling the berries. Beautiful way from Leary to position his archers right there. And the siege follow up. These archers will turn into crossbow in a second. With siege behind it, he will take down this DC. Or at least he's gonna try, but Doubt is on his way up as well, and Doubt still with 16 villages more. 16, which is quite a lot. 16 villages more, but he doesn't have any wood at all, but he will have time. He's mining a lot of his stone. Leary need to make some more damage of what he did. It's true that he's delaying a lot. He's now trying to break in on the left, and I'm checking at home if he's doing another TC. He's not. This is dangerous. He got a tower. The market is well protected, and... Like you said, he's the, the lion, all the farmers now trying to get inside. He's doing so many houses to wall, but from there, those archers will also deny even more farmers. So. Exactly, exactly. And you're you're going to end up having more villagers, but they're not really working on the farms you built for them. They'll be stuck with gathering wood or any other instant resource, and you really want to get that food in. So that's, that's rather ugly right now. Leary doing an amazing job making a few archers and then with an early castle age transition really nice he's also doing a, mo a monastery why because he's thinking okay maybe he's coming with knights step lance or something i want to convert but the thing here is doubt don't even have a barrack so his plan um, yeah. is to go for a castle and keep jack uh, oh, yeah yeah i yeah. think yeah definitely in doubt rocking zero military against 18 AD 5 to 1 in favor of Doubt though, so that's not bad, but that's just the early militias that are going down. And you know what? Doubt is up. What is he going to be building? He needs a siege workshop, but he has no wood to build one. And there's the castle now. The castle is happening. He's covering the main goal. Look at those two, two mangonels. But Leary is still on 1TC. 1TC with the Vikings, yes, but 1TC. He has to be careful because imagine now if he just repaired that TC and uh, Doubt send some Kipchak to raid at home can be a problem. Oh yeah. A big that could problem. be a big problem for Leary. Leary needs to spot that. If Dao like make a make a few cheeky Kipchakas go on the right side or on the left side, Dipsy Doodles around Leary's forward, he has a lot of potential for a counter raid. But I'm not sure if Doubt's going to commit to that. He might just try and clean up the forward first. But Leo is doing something that I'm not sure about this. He has a stable. He's doing forging. He has a skill bar and armor. He's going also knights. I don't know if that is going to be great. For Ooh, now, yeah. Doubt is doing the, the Kipchak with Potkin. But the TC is down. TC is down. Only one tone center for Doubt. A lot of idle time. Leary seems to be really Ooh. confident, but now how to make damage in that area. And the Kipchats are coming. And four mangoes, man. Four mangoes. They will take down this watchtower in the blink of an eye. And look where Leary's going. If he goes to stand on that hill on the left side of Doubt's base, he could even just, just smash this in. And that's exactly what he's doing. Four mangoes is really scary. Doubt might lose this tower, might lose his blacksmith, might lose his... Everything. Literally his last DC. Yeah, yeah. 
Only one toll center, but the rate you kill that is still leaving has killed one unit. Until now, at least. Liri's in such a good spot. Liri's in such a dominant spot right now. Yeah, he's playing smart. How many? How many? Is four Magnus still? Yes, taking that tower. Still didn't kill the units. The Kipsas are coming, but he got crossbows with Botkin. No ballistic, though. But he got few knights. And he's just trying to, to use his units at the maximum. Five Mangonos. Five Mangonos. There's some Kipsas at, at home. Five Mangonos. For Leary. Has to be careful, but there's the crossbow. So he's defended. And now, man. 16 to is behind. Oh, boy. Converting now some Kipchak. No, he didn't convert. And he lost one. One monk. And now, Doubt will have no TC. Doubt is going to end up having no TCs. And that's just... Like, I know he's got 16 more villagers, as you just said. It's 13 now. But Doubt is not going to be able to produce villagers. Doubt is not going to be able to clean up this, this military from, from Leary. Doubt literally has nothing to stop this. And Doubt is going to lose all of these... All these villagers if he's not... This... This... I don't see the Lord winning this. Well, he got no tone centers. It's crazy. He has a stone to make another castle down. So he can have more... Well, he has already more castles than TCs. <laughs> because one castle, now Leo with yeah. three tone centers. He, it's crazy. It's crazy how now it's only seven, but it's different. 28 army. Lear is playing this so solid. But look at that! He's coming forward with a castle on his face. What? He wants to, to make a castle there. Is Doubt going with 20 villiers or how many? I don't know. Are you kidding me? But Leary's going to spot this. This is, this is so typical for Doubt to go yeah, all man. in with a castle. Yeah, His well, trademark. Doubt Castle, oh man. Oh, my God. Doubt Castle is taking the villiers. Shall I play it? No. You, you have to. Okay. Thank you. Oh, but I'm playing this, and maybe he's gonna make the caster. He got a lot of Kipchak, Wait. so maybe the caster will be up, and then he can do a domination. But at home, yes. look at those archers killing all the villains now. Wow, yeah, look at the villains difference I mean, now. Yeah, true, but if this castle goes up, suddenly he might have a position. Yeah, a position to make Kipchak ah, and no villains. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, zero TCs are still. You know? Zero TCs. Two castles, zero TCs. New meta. No, this is this is looking rather over. I'm looking at Doubt's base, or at least what's supposed to be Doubt's base. And you said it at the start, man. Humans is a blessing and a curse. The double TC, it's so tempting to drop that double TC in Feudal Age. But your opponent is going Castle Age and he's gonna pressure you there. And that is so much more deadly than having the 10 extra villagers. Uh, Leary is, is, is still losing some archers that he should lose. But of course, he's now focusing in several spots. And still, Leary is 20 villages ahead. And Doubt is still with zero tone centers. Doubt can't even make villages anymore. Like every villager Leary makes right now is just a win on Doubt. And Leary, yes, he's three TCs. He's got a lot of. Eco save. Doubt with a cheeky little counter attack right there. Kills one villager, now has to move back again. I'm not even sure if this castle is in range of Leary's TC. Ooh, but Leary's losing all Ooh, the Mangoners right now. Three Mangoners lost by Leary, which it wasn't definitely the best. Mm -hmm. He's doing ballistic. He has killed still a lot of villages. He's 30 villages ahead. It's coming now with uh, with those keeps that are very, very annoying. Double RT range. But he has a lot of crossbows. He's fine. And ballistic too. So, yeah. Yeah, but definitely okay. I feel like Doubt is playing better without TCs than he did with <laughs> TCs. Right now, he's taking good trades, man. Well, are you trolling the Lord? Good trades. Uh, are you, right. are, well, because he doesn't have to focus on the TCs, you know? He's not going for the yeah, tone center, so... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, oh. now the multitasking is just is monotasking, you know? It's, it's easy. Just, yeah, it's easier. Where's the TC? No TC. Okay, let's focus in the army. Now he's doing a yeah, tone center in the farmers. Yeah, and the south, and we'll start to lose the units. And a new TC from Doubt. So Doubt okay. is dropping a TC, but it's a little bit too late. Double the villagers for, for Leary. And they're, I mean, he's Vikings, so that's super solid as well. Yeah, like he got ballistic. Uh, that he has the second. He got even the second armor, and and thumbprint as well. I'm not sure if he has the thumbprint, but but still, it's um, 
I think it's impossible. I, I don't know. Maybe Daud can do some crazy, crazy bada booms or going in. Well, he's he's trying Look to put the pressure. Look at what Daud is doing, man. Yeah, yeah. Daud is trying to get up to Imperial Age. What? But so is Leary. Doubt is trying to go to Imp. That's why he built the TC. Not what, to make what? villagers. Because he's wait, wait. not making villagers. Yeah, he well, made the TC to be Fassim, able to click up. Fast Imperial with 45 yeah, villagers? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, man. My. And he will, man. He's gonna kill... He's gonna... Man! He's going to Imperial. And now he takes the TC for, for, for Leary. The score is getting closer. We are joking a little bit. But Doubt... Is on the way to Imperial when he didn't wow. make a single villager in the last 20 minutes. In the last 20 minutes, you gotta be kidding me. And forcing Leary to a migration all over the map. And now, how do you stop the trebuchets? Wow, so wait. What? Is this still a game? It might actually be, but now Doubt is losing a lot of Kipachakas on oh the my right God. side. That was good by Leary. The Leary's eco, man. It is idle left and right. Honestly, Doubt is doing an amazing job with the with the Kipachakas right now. For for sure he's doing. I mean, he's raiding a lot of villages and now Leary's losing a lot of villages still. Look how many villages he's taking. So many. So many villages. He's now doing a tower, but Leary's gonna be like, what? Imp? It's true that Doubt cannot make a single trap because his resources are 100 wood, you <laughs> yeah. know, I mean, he just can't, but, but still, if it's he's doing still one cool. trap, yeah. <laughs> if he's doing one trap, how do you stop it? Because Leary is still, he's, he's in problem, and this Kumas is, is dangerous, Seth. Definitely dangerous, and, and Doubt is showing us why, even without a lot of eco, he's doing so much damage. Leary desperately trying to keep the right side of his base alive, keeping the crossbow right there, which is the good move. But if Doubt manages to mass up his army on the right, take down those crossbows of Leary, then suddenly Leary's heart of the complete eco is open. And I feel like this is the moment for Doubt to gather his troops, even though he's still doing but, a good job. But Leary's still losing but, failures. Sorry that I interrupt wow. you. He's still losing failures. No, failures. you're correct. Yeah. Is, is, is there losing some more? War Tower now is still not going up. He's gonna go with Arches and kill. Wow, he's gonna kill now. But look I at mean, Leary. <laughs> Leary's gonna kill look now. At Leary's crossbow. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. I'm there. He's gonna kill now. Leary. I'm, I'm also there. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna kill 15 villains out of 45. So it won't have anything uh, at all. Look, 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 look. Disaster. This is. Oh, and he's. Oh, One. Hello. Two. I'm here. Three. How many? Four. Five. Six. Incredible. Ooh, shooting. Seven, eight, oh, nine, ten, Everything. and eleven. Unbelievable. Wow. Whoa, man. Look at the village count. And now the war towers are just gonna do the job in those raiding. Of course, one trap can can really make a lot of damage, but man, this this, this. now I understand in the interview Hira said I will ban Kumans no matter what. I don't want to play against Kumans. I ban Kumans. I just ban Kumans. Man, he has 37 villages and he's still putting uh, Leary in an uncomfortable a situation. Breaks. Wow. That is that is amazing. One third of the eco, but with the with the Kipchak as he's doing so well. Now but but now the skirmishes are taking over. And he's gonna make a castle on top of that hill. Still with the Vikings. He has Kronos on top of that hill, that probably he's gonna lose them. Uh, because he got quite, well, quite a lot of keep chat. I mean, Doubt is still almost the same army that Liam but Villiers number. He's taking oh the trap with Villiers! Or trying! No! <laughs> well, Amos! <laughs> okay. I, I know for a fact they're having fun. These players, they know each other. They know this is a crazy game. They know we're having fun watching this. Literally, Leary taking down this trebuchet with a villager is <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, I mean, when those archers are arborless and get the last upgrade, they are just going to dominate. But for now, those Kipchas are dangerous. They have plus four armor, also chemistry. And he needs to save those. He has, he has the heal. Let's see if Leary is going to micro as much as possible. But those Kipchas are going to clean. They will clean. They will clean. And right before he gets them up to Arbalest. So that is really good for Doubt. Cleaning up his own base. Putting all those villages of Doubt back to work. All of them. So many. 
And by the way, man, if you look at Dowd's Lumber Camp on the left side, there's a monk between the villagers. Not doing anything. <laughs> I don't know if I can even see it. I don't know. It's, I, it's I don't... at the top of Dowd's 1TC. There's a Lumber Camp and there's a monk of Leary that's been there the whole game just standing there. But yeah, this this is a monk or a totally militia? Steady looking. No, it's 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 a monk. It's a monk of Leary okay. in Dowd's Lumber I don't see it, but well... <laughs> you, don't don't, see you don't see it? I don't see anything. Does the chat see it? Man blind, I see. Oh, I see blind. now? Yeah. F okay. Yeah, he's been what there the, the hell? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I mean, man, I need to zoom, man. I was with the zoom out. Uh, okay, it's there. <laughs> okay. But but the problem is that there he's, was a militia too. There, there was a militia too, and I was like, oh, it's a militia, man, in the, behind the lumber camp. But no, now I see no, it. Okay. No. <laughs> Do you see, mine how the game it is right now that we are focusing in that? Because come on. Yeah, this is true, over. True. I mean, population difference is more than double. And even if he's trying to go now with just Avalis and Skirmish, is Leary just should dominate now. No? I, I believe yeah, but so. I, I still think, I, man, I still think this is good for Doubt. Like, he, he's shaking off those nerves. He's playing on, even though he's probably dead. He knows, but he's taking some good engagements. And. That, that makes you feel a lot better going into the next game than just resign. But you really think, you really think Doubt is nervous? Nah, think about I, the I guy. Can't imagine Doubt nervous. I don't you're, think you're he's correct. nervous at all. You know, yeah. he, he has no feelings. <laughs> nah, but look at the score difference. He's nah. just insane. I mean, yeah. he did some some good, but Leary, Leary has played this like, you know, and I'm sure that Leary was thinking that Doubt will resign. Yeah. When well, he killed all the TCs and, and he was like 1,000 score ahead during castles and now, well, he's doing another castle. Doubt is, doubt is not, he's not giving up. What the hell with 34 villagers? Yeah. I mean, Leary just walked straight through Doubt's only TC with a lot of arbalest. <laughs> doubt did not have any villagers to hide in that TC. <laughs> so Leary is just looking at Doubt's map like, huh, where are... Do you have anything left? Like, exactly. where is it? <laughs> Lear is finding to, he's trying to find something to make damage and there's no, no damage to do because he got no population. He's got nothing, so nothing. <laughs> joke's on you. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, and now Doubt's castles are going down and that's probably, that's probably a good sign for the Lord to uh, focus on the next game. Yeah, but you know- Is he, is he going for the defeated? No, no it's okay. Easy. I was it's scared easy. for a second. I mean, what what surprised me with 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 Leary is that it's it he was seems to be super confident all the all the game like he knew exactly what he wanted to do like yeah he knew exactly what was the approach you and me were censored completely and he he mm -hmm. got clear the idea that I'm gonna keep pushing I'm pushing him yeah. with the mangonels with the crows no matter what I'm just trying to deny his economy as much as possible and even that he was. At some time, with almost 20 villages ahead, Doubt didn't have a single chance. Yeah, and I, I don't completely agree with Doubt's choice to go with Kipachakas. With the pressure he had, I think just a knight opening or siege and knights would probably give Doubt a better shot than, than go for your castle unit. Because if you drop a castle, if you go for your unique unit, you can only produce your unit one at a time whereas Leary with ranges with siege workshops with monastery with stables he was producing producing military way more than doubt yeah and listen to your sweet boys while I'm watching the achievements and just look look all the resources for Leary even with all that migration and raiding it was wow I mean, just check those resources Crazy with Vikings. that yeah with that we don't have to say anything else jumping into the game number two, guys. There you go, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, game number two, Lear versus Doubt, is going to be amazing. Last series of the day. Hopefully you enjoy. And Lear and Doubt, like you see there, with me, Mr. Moonfaller, all the day. Unbelievable. And as a blue doubt in the south with Chinese and Leary in the north, as a green with Lithuanians. What civilization do you yes. prefer, Mr. Mr. Moore? Oh, wow. That, that is, for the first time all day, a really tough one for me. Um, Lithuanians is such an amazing civilization. 
if you get to the right spot with Lithuanians, if you get manages to get the relics, I think Lithuanians might be the best if in the game. I'm gonna say without the relics, I prefer Chinese. So it depends. <laughs> okay. It depends this one for me, but um, yeah, if I look at Doubt's map with the back gold, back, back berries, I, I think that will be really, like I, I would favor Doubt's position right now with his Sif, with his map, everything included, I'd go for Doubt. Well, uh, Lee seems to be trying to, to, to lame, but they are, there is no reset, remember, are taking the fight, who is going to win this battle? Who is taking the scout war? It's huge! Oh boy. And this is like a oh flipping a coin! Oh my lord! <laughs> Divine power from Doubt. Doubt wow, took and it is huge. and no scout. Because remember, do you know, but do you know why Leo is committing to this? It's much, much worse if Doubt lose the scout because he's Chinese. He can't push Cerberus or anything. That for Liu that True. he has the extra foot in the start and he wanted to, to make the gamble and he lost. Exactly. And this is so good for Doubt as well. Like getting lamed with Chinese is so, so, you know, oh, oh, it's, the it's billion, like the worst to get lamed with. Almost get Ooh, it. And he almost, almost lose the scout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, keep it alive. Keep it alive. Look at Leary getting those sheep with his with his villager right now. Good move from Leary, gathering all the resources. But Dao with his scout is going to be aware of Leary's eco. It's going to find the lumber camp right here. He's going to be able to scout the berries. He's going to be able to make a good decision according to Leary's map. Okay. And how is, how is Leary's map? Well, let's check Leary's map with berries on the right side. The goal is a disaster. Okay, disaster, it's a resume. It's a disaster map for Leary. I mean, wow. awful map for him, right? Yeah. <laughs> Except the stone is at yeah, the but, back, but but man, when we say an awful map, it's it's so good at the same time because it's yeah. open and Leary is gonna have to think outside of the box. So Leary's map is really bad. He's got forward gold. So what does he do if Leary goes and play defensive? That's not really gonna be the way for Leary to approach this game. And there we go. He dr he's dropping a barrack. He knows his map is not the greatest. He wants to force the fight in Doubt's base. And therefore, he's going for a yeah, very early rush. I like this from Leary. But the, th the thing with Leary is that map good, worse, terrible, wallable. He always go aggressive. Yeah, true. This is what I like now, from him, you know, that he always go aggressive mode and he's now doing the barrack fast. His resources are great because the Lithuanian is amazing and he will go malicious, will try to find doubt and if he, if he can disturb the Chinese economy, it can be huge. That could be huge, yeah, definitely, definitely. I like this as well for, for another reason, because he's not with a scout, but look at doubt. Because he won that scout war, he spots the barrack, he knows that there's an early drush coming. And Doubt is going to be aware of the barrack. That is why a scout is so important. If you see your opponent already dropping the building, you're halfway there to defend it. So Doubt, aware that there is a Drush coming his way, should probably try and make some, some, some palisades. And that's exactly what he's doing. Well done by Doubt. Exactly what he's doing. Now, mill up for this crazy Lithuanian civilization. The militias are gone with three militias. But remember my words, Edmund. Um, yeah. How smooth Leo is gonna go up to feudal age because this civilization with that extra 150 foot it helps a lot. We see the militias it going. Helps a lot, yeah, yeah, it helps a lot. And now doubt is pushing the Cerberus, being relaxed. His economy is looking good, and he's on the way to feudal age with 21 villages, which is 22 population, 9 minutes 34. Not bad for a Chinese player. Not bad. That's and amazing quick. for Chinese. Yes. Yeah, so th that is a really quick uptime for Chinese. And I'm wondering what he's going to be playing with. I see a lot of villages on wood. And I'm going to guess it's going to be a scout opening. Yes, he's dropping his barrack now. Doubt is going to be opening up scouts. Leary is going to be opening up with a dirge. Okay, now, but what I told you. Look at the transition to feudal age. <laughs> okay, 10 minutes, Beautiful. 31 wow. seconds. And with 22 villages, one village more is just behind, of course, like a minute because China get advantage. He got more villages oh. in the start, but it's still going to be super, super quick up few village. He's going to go scouts, doubt. Well, if he's going to scouts, I don't think that Leo is going to be too sad.
probably he's gonna feel happy because he's gonna go with those spears probably even before doing the Menatama upgrade. But let's see, because now Leary is just exploring. Remember that he lost the scout really early and he's not finding some of the resources yet. No, but he is forcing a lot of ugly walls from doubt on that wood line. And I know Leary is not hitting the villagers, but he did cause a lot of a lot of palisade left and right, but Doubt pretty much untouched, getting his stable up right now. Leary completely open still, so this could be scary for Leary. Well, he never walled, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, he, he he's, he's playing with with big yeah. balls for sure. Uh, he he has the stable there. He has this table. Look at those two militias going around. He's just using the militias to explore and to try to to minimize the economy for the Chinese. You can see that there's, like you said, a lot of walls. The villages are not working as efficient, but for now, doubt is definitely okay. And yeah. doing one scout, but the problem is, doubt can make one scout. Now oh. he's doing the second, maybe. Yeah, Dao's eco is really, really stretched right now. So he's going to struggle with producing villagers and scouts at the same time. And that's what you get when you go up with 22 villagers with Chinese. I think maybe 23 would suit him better. But if he manages to keep his stable running and his town center running, and it looks like he will, then this was just a very tight but nice build order from Dao. Yeah, but Leary, he didn't even make the Manatama upgrade. He's sending his spears right away. Spears already, he got the RT range, he's going with one spear to take the ostrich to, to defend uh, those villains taking the ostrich, he's still the goal is uh, exposed but he has one spear too and he's going his usual fast fast aggression, oh oh, let's see because the spears and the RT is gonna meet those scout, that's gonna be very Ooh, important and 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 oh, doubt need to go reaction. back, yeah but but uh, Moon, those scout, two are, well one almost dead and one half HP so uh, against one spear you cannot true, take the fight. Leary is going forward with his spearman. So I'm, I'm looking at Leary's own base. I see his wood line, no spearman there. I see his berries, no spearman there. Leary is using his spearman as part of his army, and yes, that's strong. But Doubt just dipsy doodle around that army and now using the speed of the scouts to try and arrest the eco. And Leary's going to be forced to take a first loss of the game right there. Yeah, he's losing one, Valir. This and is good this for spear is coming, defending. Yeah, but he's there with arches already, and he's denying the berries, he's going for the wood, he doesn't have a too much, well, he got a couple of his skirmishers, let's see. He has wall already in the wood, and two villages ahead for doubt, which is normal as we with, with Chinese, has to be careful with those, and he's trying to put the pressure, now he's in the wood line, okay, but he has no fletching, right? No. No, no, so those arches aren't that scary yet. Doubt is also still on the patrol with his own scouts, trying to find some villages left and right. Not finding any villagers for now. Okay, the spear still didn't take any hit in those scouts. It's still being annoying. Leary's just being annoying. Doubt is still with better score. Why? Well, because he has one player more. Military is almost the same, and he has explored a lot more. But Leary already going for the fuel aggression. Why? He's doing a stable. So he's gonna go scout, archers, spears, I mean, all kind of army wow. right now. I love it. I love it. And that's what Leary needs to do. With a map like his, Leary can't slip up making military. He can't give up map control. With that main gold of Leary, if he loses that area, that's such a pickle for him. I love the fact that Leary is transitioning in a stable. He should start adding a lot of farms as well to keep up villagers as well as the stable and that's exactly what leary is doing so leary going archers and scouts as well doubt is going primarily skirmishers and the skirmishers are going forward man from doubt right now so that there's one problem so scary there's one problem for doubt doubt didn't spot it this table he's not expecting a scouts Ooh. from leary I'm just, in his Ooh. point of view, he didn't spot it. He need to wall those. The skirmishes are coming with fletching, but if if now Leo is doing few scouts and send some spears, it's going to be deadly. It's going to be really complicated for, for Doubt to stop that combination. But Doubt got one small advantage. Well, or important advantage, the fletching. But Leary is doing the blast with already, so the fletching will be there for both. But what I like it, full feudal battle for now. Exactly, and Leary slowly but steady is getting fully walled, and Doubt is approaching this from the right side, and he could potentially deny a little bit of this woodline, but I there's can't. just skirmishers. 
bomb oh heal a lot of damage here. Look what he's doing, man. Fletching, but Bloodlands is right away. He's going all, wow, all forward filthy. now. All forward. Now there is some scout, but Fletching on Bloodlines. Fletching on Bloodlines. Is he going? And then now he can make a lot of damage to Doubt. If Doubt got a hole, it can't be, Doubt, it can't be so... There's a hole, I think. The because there's those... those the, yeah, I think, I think there's, there's a hole. A hole. No. Leary's okay. gonna click in. Leary's gonna click inside. There's a hole. There's it's a, a hole. hole. It's a no. hole, yes! It's a hole no. there, man! With the arches and blood and the scout. Oh my god! That hole is just sick. And while at home, Leary's just one. It's a scout and skirmishes. The dangerous. I mean, those scouts with arches is gonna be so dangerous for Doubt. He need to micro Leary. He's not microing the scouts. But now the arches are going to be really, really dangerous. Those spears, bye bye. And. All the mess in his economy. And in the wood yes. line with and those scout. It's terrible oh, move killing here by Dao. As well in the wood line. And don't forget that Dao just sent his skirmishes forward to try and do some damage. But Leary not scared at all. He went for Dao's eco. The hole is such a game changer here. Dao's whole eco is dying or idle right now. Forced into a defensive tower. At a spot you don't really want to drop a tower all the way back at your base which is supposed to be walled yeah that's oh man that's devastating the thing, for doubt the thing here is that leary took the risky decision because doubt was around and instead of staying at home and try to hold with those skirmishes and a scout he said i'm going forward and then he, he took the lead he's now four villains ahead it's true that doubt got already will borrow and even the horse color so doubt still actually really okay after this aggression yeah I'm, I'm somewhat surprised as well the military numbers are still decent the kd is still decent yes there's a three villager deficit the leary right now getting wheelbarrow so that will also vanish obviously you're gonna get wheelbarrow which is amazing leary's farm eco is also looking like super solid 21 farmers for leary that's gonna that's gonna allow him to go up to castle as soon as he wants to yeah, but look at Doubt resources, man. China economy. He's about to click up. Oh, wow. Doubt. He's about he's to click up. He's 700 through 200. He's now taking absolutely everything. The Lord is taking a beautiful battle. He's taking a lot of a lot of good kills here. And he's about to go up. Remember that Leary did forging a skill bar in armor and bloodlines. He just lost those scouts there. He's four, four villains ahead. But it's worth it to be four villains ahead. If your opponent is on the way to castle it one or two minutes before, well, I don't think it will gonna be two minutes, but like a minute. So, no. I don't know, man. Wow, so Doubt is still in this. That hole definitely put him back. It set Doubt very far back, but Doubt with the quicker castle each time is gonna use his tech advantage to claim map control. I just want to see what he opts to go for. Doubt is still making arches right now, so this is gonna be a crossbow play and potentially a forward as well from the lord well but but and look but, at leary with the defensive tower but but he's great i mean he's doing a tower here and but he's up to castle it is 40 seconds difference five villains ahead it's true that doubt has more army but the army he has is skirmishers skirmishes and there is yeah, a double yeah. stable going on for leary or not Ooh. double stable yes double stable of course you can go yeah. camels and with uh and he yeah, and he's got all the upgrades already, bloodlines, he's gonna get defense. Exactly, man. And all those skirmishers of doubt, they're gonna do zero damage. Yeah, I mean, the thing here is, he can't get then directly chain barred in armor, while doubt got only one stable. Only one stable, so even if he's going camels, and like you said, Leary approach here, let's take his point of view, if he's doing now the monastery, he also have two relics in the radar, you see, one in the middle, one on the right side, he yeah, can see yeah, them, yeah. and those knights can be so, so powerful, but then you check, doubt economy, and you think, what is this, what is that economy, Thumbrim, Botkin, and Crossbow upgrade, whoa, wow. but, but he has skirmishes mostly, well, now he's yeah, coming with more archers, Chinese, Chinese technologies are cheap, man. So for him to get yeah. all these upgrades and the thumb ring, it's not as costly as it would normally be. So I really like this. Doubt is using his sift to the maximum, denying that wood line for Leary right there, being a little bit annoying. But Leary is up right now. Double stable night production. It's going to be difficult because of all the skirmishers in that army. Yeah, but he got a beautiful tower. Look, look how he did some... some 
Palisade at home. He's trying to disturb doubt with a few scouts. He's gonna be plus two knights. The archers are coming. Thumbrin is really, really big, but he can't do any damage without walling all the map. He has, he's well protected. The knights are not yet with the plus two, but the tower is doing the job. He didn't lose a single one yes. because Ballistic was needed in that move. Yes, and at the same time, Leary dived in in doubt's face under STC, wasted about six archers. So that's a really good engagement for the Lord, actually giving Doubt the better KD as well. So Doubt, if you look at the military numbers, if you look at the villager numbers, everything considered, Doubt could still very much be in a good spot. The only scary thing is that Leary is dropping that monastery, and we know that Lithuanians with relics could be potentially the best Sith in the game. And not only that, he has husbandry, plus two, plus two, gonna go for the monks, he's doing the knight's approach, and if he's doing now a Siege Wars of Mangonel with those knights, it's gonna be so, so scary, super scary, it's true that he's bringing a knight, skill bar in armor, but no Divian Bloodlines, and he's trying to make a counter-attack, he feels that he's coming, yes, but then he's attacking at the same time, Leo is attacking at the same time, and then if he's going with Ooh, the knights there, dive. he can kill a lot with those knights, we will see Let's what is gonna happen. Yeah, he's going straight for the goodies as well. He's not wasting time. He's got his knights in the base, going straight for the heart of Doubt. And Doubt can only put so much villagers in this tower. Now, yes, this tower is annoying, but for plus two knights, this is beautiful for Leary. He's just gonna, he's just gonna take these villagers, put down behind a villager count even more, and then he's gonna be in a good spot with a better ego. It's, it's great decisions, Simon. It's really great decisions. But now, Amazing now, decisions. Leary, look how Leary just changed and moved the village from the wood line where Doubt was going to be there. It's on point. The key move on the right side. Wow. But Doubt can't really make a lot of damage. No, because Leary is moving. But that's migration and he's not taking any resources. The knights are already gone at home, but six villages ahead. And this is a beautiful and TC, but it's going to be in time. I'm not sure. Oh my God. Doubt is now it, going it all in be. into Leary's base. Doubt is in really deep. Yeah, exactly. And this might be Doubt's biggest mistake of the game. Yes, he wanted to find some damage. He found no villagers. And look at this surround from Leary. This could be a game-changing fight. Doubt diving in too deep into Leary's base. The pathing of these knights has improved. Plus two, plus two on these knights as well. Doubt is actually losing his complete army in Leary's Lucy, no. base without killing a single villager. He lost absolutely everything. Six villages ahead for Lee with two tone centers. Army is now almost the same, but with a difference. The army that Leary got now is strong. Really, really strong. Well, Super strong. The, yeah, the army from Daud is okay. Yes. He got four yeah, camels so, and crossbows. Also okay, yeah. yeah. It is okay. okay yeah, but I, relic, I do favor relic. Leary by quite a bit. Oh, Relic. No, no, he's oh, not going to take it. Boy. He's not going to take it. Doubt he's is gonna, there. He's going to take it. Doubt is there, but oh. he's going to oh. take it. <laughs> okay, no, oh, no, no. He's going to run. Run, old man. No, he's not. He's fatty, <laughs> man. He's a few meters. He's fatty. He's fatty, yeah. man. He's fatty. I'm telling you. He's fatty. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Next approach yeah. here. I mean, the problem for Doubt is that Leo, he keep growing and growing. Man, how good is this tower for Leo? He's saving him. It's beautiful tower. I, if I was down, I would just go siege just to kill that one tower. Because, I mean, it it did so much damage to down already. Sorry, Doubt sorry, sorry. Moon, Moon, on his oh, base. Yeah. Look at the nice guy. Oh, look, look at the nice guy. In, in the gold that this is going and to be up, but he's going to take a lot of villages. He's going to kill the gold miners. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's going to take it. He's seven villages ahead now. Keep raiding. The camels can't deal with the plus two, plus two. And he still have no relics in mind. If this was plus four, he's doing a really good job. But at uh, home, yeah, 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 he yeah. can't do so. Well, he took a villager. But little by little, Now the Leary, camels are there, but... Yeah, Leary's taking small victories left and right now, and Doubt's army is just not doing any damage, whereas Leary's knights are just constantly keeping Doubt on his toes. Well, now he lost some of those units, but um, the game keep going because Doubt got some good army, but still, slowly... The economy is growing. Look at that spot for, for Doubt. It's a good one, but still oh, those knights are... beautiful spot. No, no, no. He's gonna stay there. Yeah, but oh. again, man, I feel like Doubt is again a little bit stuck with his army. The first time he wasted his army in Leary's base, and now he's again 
like in a bit of an awkward spot with these archers. I'd much rather be doubt either try to go for like an actual push or or just raid instead of what he's doing right now, which is diving into deep and then getting caught with his pants down. But Liri is leaving him Sorry. alone. Liri is ignoring the camels. He just going and say, okay, just going come forward. to me. I'm going to you. I'm going to attack. And now he's going to make a lot of damage again in his economy. Are you for real? Oh, boy. Plus three attack on these bad boys as well. Yeah, he got one relic finally. So plus three. The monastery is not up yet for doubt. Now he can raid a lot in the south. Does that was and is very exposed. It's true that the TC is there, but he can raid a lot. And mm, the crowbos are there, but not doing any damage. Yeah, he's denying that goal. So what? He got two more. Doesn't matter. Exactly. Exactly. So the villager lead right now, seven villager lead for Leary. Yes, he's got less military, but Leary has been using his military better than Doubt this game. And therefore, there is a, a villager deficit for Doubt. Leary's actually getting somewhat of a decent trade in Doubt's base as well until the camels show up. There Don't like the camels. It. Don't really like that. Ooh. I mean, I think now yeah. Leary's losing all the knights for not too much. And those are plus three. Much. Yeah, that's a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Doubt is taking the lead because of a good reason. Yeah, not that great. That's and that blue lane in the north for Leary is definitely not being so, so efficient. We need to see more tone centers for for Leary because he's falling a little bit uh, with that economy. Remember that Chinese can be great. And now Doubt is adding a third tone center. So he has to be careful. Yeah, but and those then, to be honest, with, with all the raiding Leary's done and he's just six villages ahead. And if I look at the military count, it's either Doubt's macro has just been beautiful or the raids have done less damage than expected because Doubt very much still in this game. Six villages down only. Doubt is playing with Chinese, which is a beautiful sieve. And right now the camels are right there to save his crossbow. So yeah, Doubt's still very much in this. And Leary has more villagers, but not taking the best trade so far. What? What? Those knights are killing this is all! A good one. What the wow, what? Those okay. knights are killing Never everything, mind, man! Really. Okay. What the <laughs> hell? Shit. I mean, look what okay. he did with with the plus three knights. He just took the camels, the crossbows, he killed everything. What was that? And now he's gonna go in plus and raid. Four. The score exploded and military numbers that it was There's double for right down. Side. There's a hole and he's gonna raid the, the man. This cannot happen so many times in the same game, seriously. I mean, he's gonna raid and Leo is just going, raiding, taking all the lead, raiding completely, and this is gonna now make a huge difference in the in the game because Doubt, sorry, Leo is even doing the hand card while he's raiding so wow. many villages. Yeah, this is looking all of a sudden really rough for Doubt. The last two minutes were so much in favor of Leary. Leary cleaned out his army and now raiding out his base. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't be mean, don't be mean. The low elo legends people say in the chat. Come on! No, man. I mean, <laughs> the problem is that, no, no, no. that you on. don't see those calls. I mean, just check that this that house. I mean, you really don't see visually. You, you don't see that there's a hole, but you, you can't guess. Nah. Well, it's difficult, you know. It's very difficult, but you need to check. You need to check anyway. The score is still close, but, well, he's still only seven bullets behind. How the hell is that possible? Because Doubt has How is three that TCs. Possible? Well, three TCs are ah. only two. That's it. Yeah, but still, like, there should be... I don't know. I feel like Doubt's defense and his macro are just so on point right now. These TCs of Doubt oh, are not working. On the left. fight in the middle right now. Yeah, he didn't notice. On the left, oh, no, he was about to take those villains. But he couldn't. Now he's raiding again. But man, Liu is constantly raiding all the game. Yeah, but Doubt is going to be four TCs. Like, Liri, yes, he's raiding non-stop, but it's not giving him... But well, it is giving him the lead. That is true. And it's also, don't forget, it's allowing Liri to grab the relics. Yeah, he got now plus four knights. Look how those knights are raiding now and killing all the villains. Like, like instantly. And check now the villains different with only two TCs. Oh man, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's just noble, okay, man. Okay, okay. It's completely noble. He's just spamming with two TCs. This is like a one TC push, uh, Moon, but with two. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like the same idea. I get exactly the same what you're idea. Saying. Yeah. Like he's 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 yeah. just spamming knights all the time, non-stop. 
Yeah, but I still, like, I, I love a raid, but sometimes you just need to mass up your knights, go with, like, a, a few rams, and really do a push. But, yeah, this is, of course, this is also a good option, and this really favors Leary, because Leary is probably the quicker player from these two, so if Leary, like, he splits up his army on multiple fronts, that will definitely be a pickle for doubt to deal with. Whereas if Leary just makes one big ball of army and tries pushing doubt, that would probably favor doubt a little bit more. So I, I don't think this is random. I really do think that Leary thought about this. Leary is up to imp in 30 seconds. He's taking another relic, so those knights are going to be plus five in castleage, and he can clip Imperial oh, wow. anytime soon with two tone center raiding, raiding, and now he's gonna make a castle in top of that hill. A beautiful castle. He need to move because there is some camels. But the problem is that Doubt is not expecting that Leo is going up to imp, I believe. Well, he's not clicking. I mean, he's no. still doing army. What the hell? Man, yeah, the knights are killing the camels. <laughs> the knights plus five the knights are, are so eating strong, man. the plus camels, five. man. Uh, these Lithuanians I mean, are so what good. Can you do? Uh, they, They're they are good, so man. strong. I, man, I honestly believe Lithuanians with maybe even three relics already is the best if in the game right now. I mean, we say this because how he's playing. Remember that he's constantly raiding a player like Doubt constantly during all the game and he's still only eight villages behind so yeah that is amazing doubt is somehow playing really really nice but to make the use of this powerful sieve leo need to play just in another level and now he's on the way to imperial age is still on two tone centers all the game and is still taking the lead man and the fourth relic for leary just got in People, four relics for Leary. Now, not only is that gonna, gonna give a huge boost for his knights, Plus it's six. also such a nice feeling to have. Look, look, look. Plus six. Moon, Camus and Arches. Big engagement six goes down. Four monks, though. Four for monks. That, yeah, for that, he's not taking the fight now because the monks. Exactly. Yeah, if he convert those, it's, it's a problem. Need to go back again. That's a problem. Ooh. He has the castle. I mean, Blaise is still all the time doing the castles in out of position just to get the hills, but still. The knights are just killing, man. Crazy. He's going in. Oh, but the conversions, I don't know. Nah, the knights know are too powerful. Fight. The knights are so strong. But the crossbow, they three hit the knights right now. Don't forget the knights. Yes, they've had, they have amazing attack, but their defense is still just plus two. And look at and doubt, doubt economy. Actually... He's on the way to imperial doubt. The score is almost the same. Doubt is with more villains. for Neri. With horse more color for Leary. Not bad. It's solid. Minutes in. It's solid. Horse color. Okay. Look, he's doing another castle. Horse color now after having so many farmers. Definitely not the best. That's why his economy. Well, all the farmers oh, are wow. going out of food. And now, what? Because Villis is the same? No. Doubt more Villis and more army. More army. What the yeah. hell? But the timing, the timing, How on earth? the timing is, yeah, the is, timing is crucial. Cavalier, ooh, that's gonna hurt. Cavalier trebuchets, very difficult to deal with for doubt. But yeah, how should doubt play this? Because he's just adding archers for now. He's not making anything to deal with the cavalier. Not going camel, not, not going pikemen. <sighs> Another thing that I just noticed: those camels taking fight against those knight pluses without even blood lanes. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Oh my god. No bloodlines, blood no lines. plus two, oh, no, no nothing. Those cavaliers, uh, <laughs> now he's the doing hell? the bloodlines. But those cavaliers, I think they are going to now, well, they should take everything. But now they still have yeah. a sick population, honestly. Sick population and four tone centers. Ay, ay, ay. Exactly, yeah. And... Now just going for a castle on the left of his base as well, and I'm in love with this castle. I feel like this will definitely, definitely prevent a lot of raiding from Leary. But Leary is there right now, and Leary could potentially deny this castle from even going up. And Doubt is not reacting. Only now he is re reacting, and Leary is already in the TC. And Cavalier now nice plus now. six. Plus six, he's, he's gonna be gonna plus eight. He's doing blast for Nance. Moon is doing blast for Nance. He's going to the economy. He got the arches, but those cavaliers, he's won it. Oh, the quick he won it. 
Yes, he won it in the last second, and now those archers and chukers, he has to be careful. Don't think this is a good a good spot for Leary to fight. Not a good decision Not here. Why is Leary taking these fights? Two I don't castles, know. army in the choke. Yeah, what but, is Leary doing? Why well, is he taking this? Do you know why? Because he's still raiding on the right, he's raiding all over, and uh, he's trying to make doubt to Don notice at all, and uh, he's ahead in village, but he has to be careful, because China is a very dangerous civilization if the, if the game keeps going long. Yeah. That is true, but yeah, Leary, don't forget, Leary's got the relics. Leary's adding a lot of stables, 40 farmers now for Leary, but Leary just getting worse color, that's gotta hurt. Out 36 farmers, but with the upgrades, definitely good. Leary with a castle on the on the right side of Doubt's base, trapping down the university, trying to push from the right. Leary's got a castle in the middle as well, and both players are fighting for the left side of the map at the same time. Yeah, he's also do he's also doing a castle on the left. Now Leary's doing Ooh, transition yeah. to skirmishes. Skirmishes from from Lithuanians are used. If he's doing the upgrade from the castle, they get plus six armor. The skirmishes are just insane. Crazy. So just in mind, he's gonna have cavalry is plus eight, and his is plus six. Wow! I mean, what a sick. I mean, what would you do against that? Well, yeah, nothing. Uh, Resign. <laughs> yeah, and then he can even add bombard cannons if he want. Not bad, Lithuanians at all. Not bad at all, no, definitely not. Doubt is trying to mouse up an army right now underneath this castle. He's going for two canoes and light cap, which is definitely not a bad unit, but they're not elite two canoes. And if you're fighting against Cavalier with 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 four relics for Lithuanians, I, I don't know if you're gonna cut it with Castle H two canoe. Well, the thing is, you check the population, and then you just notice that Doubt got 135 villages and more army than the Leary. More army than Leary. But if there's a point that that Leary just match the numbers in military, the army from Leary is, is much stronger at the moment. Much, much stronger. Mm -hmm. He got cavalry is plus eight skirmishes that are getting more upgrades doing the chemistry. Still need the upgrades for those skirmishes. Well, but those numbers are scary hazards. Okay, oh boy, but Hazards don't get any upgrades, extra upgrades, so Hazards is not that scary against the Chukunus. Exactly, yeah. But still not that many units from Liri around, like I'm trying no, no, to no. find his Cavalier army. I'm seeing a lot of Light Cav skirmishers, but where are the Cavalier? They're, they're dead. They are dead, but the Hazards are on the right side, raiding again to Doubt. Doubt they still have a lot of, a lot of his 52 farmer, 30 Silamrias, 13 on gold. Another good thing is that Lee got the four relics, but he's not good only for, for the Cavaliers. He's also for the, the Golden Cove, if the game, if the game keeps going longer and longer. But now Doubt is going to, to the counter attack, at attacking completely. He's doing the castle on top of that, he'll Leary. Uh, the Sisperate castle just to, to defend. Awesome. Doubt is still in the game after well, an amazing game wow. already by the by by doubt being raided all the time in the game, and he's still there with 200 population. 200 pop and 71 military against 27. I don't know how this happens, but doubt is just completely out macroing Leary. Doubt is keeping all his production running, all his TCs running. Yes, Leary has done an amazing job raiding him nonstop, but doubt just cleaned up all those raids. Doubt is safe at home. Yes, he's not with relics. But he's with trebuchets, he's pushing through the middle and he's got a lot of crossbow uh, chukanu inside of Leary's, Leary's base, keeping a lot yeah. of it idle as well. So Doubt is actually in a good spot right now. He's in a good spot, I mean, if the score doesn't say, but Leary need skirmishes. He's not doing why, because his economy is at the limit. He got 56 farmers, but he still have no resources. Those Chukunos and Skimmers, he's gonna take now a lot of farmers, probably. He's coming with the Cavaliers. He's now losing a castle on top of that hill. He really needs Skirmishes, but he's not doing. Population is still 200 pop constantly for doubt. 170. He need more army, Leary. He doesn't have a node. 40 army, 73. I think he will take probably those Chukunos. Because if he's killing those, he's important. So, yeah. Very important. Yeah, definitely important. Even if that gets cleaned up, Doubt is already massing up a new army. 
But that is definitely good for Leary. That's a great start. Cleaning up those two canoes that were idling half of your wow. eco. Very good move. Doubt on the left side. Leary's going for a castle on the left side. Doubt has an army there. Trying to figure out what's happening. Doubt also dropping some stables at the far left. Top left. Right there. One got denied. One got up. Both players trying to do whatever they can to, to idle each other's eco. And Doubt moving in with the two trebuchets, maybe a little bit too deep in the middle. And those two trebuchets caught with their pants down. Yeah, but now the problem here is that Doubt is just going with light caps. Mainly light caps. I mean, how are you gonna beat with light caps? Lithuania that has Cavaliers and Hussars. Cavaliers plus eight, another castle on the left. I think Lee now is stabilized quite, quite a bit. 160 population is still Doubt with more army. But his army, it shouldn't be really scary. But the problem is that it's a lot. It is a lot, yeah. And Doubt All is the time, everything Reddit. running Doubt. non-stop. Double the military for, for, for Doubt the whole game. Yeah, man. And Doubt also on the right side, raiding a lot of Leary right there. Denying the DC on the, on, the, on the far right. Hitting this castle as well. Amazing late game from Doubt. Yeah, he should make more the holes. Definitely he should do it because look how the castle is taking damage with five five uh, light cats for and not doing anything because he can't kill. And still, Leo has 70 farmers after all this raiding, 27 million on wood, wow. and still with four relics. Leo definitely need to, to stabilize a little bit because doubt it's just raiding with light caps and Leo is unable to match the numbers in army. Unable to match and exactly. losing one castle and another one castle and another now the one in the in the south is losing and he's doing a skill mail armor he's gonna make infantry because if he force him to make infantry then it's a it's a bigger problem for the for leary exactly and i love this this way doubt is pushing keeping the the, the chukunu close to the trebuchets slowly but steady taking away all these castles out of the equation really good moves and the gold is going to be an issue for doubt that's why he's Completely transitioning into into a trash composition. A lot of light cap from Doubt raiding left and right. And Leary trying to return a favor right now. Raiding on the right side, getting into Doubt's base on the right, and also straight through the middle, trying to get some raiding done. And to the left, on the left, in the middle, on the right, it remind me the ACL. Do you remember when there was raiding all <laughs> yeah, over? Yeah, yeah. yeah, all over, man. And now Trebus is taking this. I don't understand what's happening in the game. Now finally, Doubt it's dropping. Dropping the population finally for Leary because Leary, man, he has been struggling a lot to create army, but now Billy's numbers both are going more and more down. 46 for both, it's still four rallies. The rating is just huge constantly for both players, and the population now is definitely going down. Do you know what I think has been? The, oh well, he's still with Chukunus and Traps. What he have missing doubt yeah, was he's got a maybe. Solid push right yeah, there. yeah, it's a push, but it's a castle. It's not his economy. Well, now Leary is taking all the villages. Check the village number wow, now for doubt. Yeah. Check now. Oh no, that is. Wow. He, he, he lost 60 villages right there. 60 villages. He was 130 villages not so long ago, and now he got 70, even less, 67. What the hell is this game? All, all aggressive, man. Ooh. All going up, forward, and now when Doubt is losing those Chukunus, he's losing the game. He's losing the game, yeah, and Leary's going for it. Leary, oh, what a beautiful pincer move from all sides, taking on these Chukunus. Still Castle is Chukunus, getting surrounded, will lose the traps, will lose the Chukunus, will lose his push, and Doubt down to 100 population. Leary wow. up at 150. It's incredible because oh, no. if you check what Liu has focused completely during the game, it's in the farming. Look at the farmers he has. Crazy. 75 farmers. That's why he's spamming, spamming constantly Hazards, cleaning the Chukurus. Those Chukurus, you were a good point. They are not even close to have full upgrade. He's missing armor. They are not elite. I don't think they got, uh, well, yeah, many, many upgrades. And now yeah, yeah. Liu is taking the game. Because Doubt has dropped the population a lot. Really, really a lot. Yeah, D Doubt is slowly getting some more population in, but as soon as I say that, GG, man. GG called. GG, wow. He never fixed the hole, Doubt, and he was getting man, ready those holes. all the time, man. Was getting ready during the uh. game, man.
Is that possible? Yeah, so sloppy. What, how is that possible? This is such an important game for these guys. Yeah, well. Ay, 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 ay. 2 0. 2 0. I mean, has been a beautiful game to watch because it has been um, aggressive from early feudal till now. Yeah. I mean, incredible game, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. I think Dow did an incredible game here, too. Which, I mean, but he opened the doors to Leary to, to, to let him raid. And just look at the unit kills. He killed almost 200 more. Economy, Leary, for those that say that Leary is not that great in Imp, and with the macro, just check, check the macro, he did. 6,000 more food. Amazing. The same wood, more stone, and 3,000 more gold with 136 villages. So, well, brutal game and out 77 largest army. That's why he also hold it a lot. He got a lot of army for a long time going for the game number three. Beautiful game. Directly into the next game because there you go. Next game, third game, Lear versus Doubt. And uh, Mr. Moon, I believe that you are. Let's get into the game, Mr. Moon, because we are already there. Leary and Doubt. Third game after that epic video. And after this series, I will talk seriously about what I think about what are the best tournaments, the more fun, competitive, or whatever. I will I will speak serious about that topic. But now okay. we got Mongols and Aztecs. Mongols, Mongols and, Aztecs and Aztecs and Doubt I... is Aztecs. I've, I've got a little bit of a deja vu, man, but have we seen this matchup before? Mongols yeah. against Aztec today? I have to tell I you who we did. it was. Nikov versus Winchester. The same yes, matchup. all the way at the back. Okay. Uh, it was sick, man. Ooh. It was really, really sick. It was really it sick. It definitely so... was. Do you think Lee watch it? Ooh. Ah, that's a good point, right? Nikov with the step lancers and the CA just doing an amazing job at killing as well if he did is he gonna copy that playstyle or do you think he's gonna just stick to what he's got prepared for this matchup but usually Leary plays similar of what Nikov did like True. really really aggressive you have seen in the previous game two TC's for the majority yeah. of the game he had a TC late game <laughs> he just liked to go aggressive Lee will try to go as aggressive as possible and one example is that and this for both doubt and leary both got the forward the, the, the scout forward just look they're trying to find the lane Ooh, yeah. both but they didn't find any of them yeah. wrong direction both <laughs> <laughs> i'm happy with this map every time players tried the lane today it just turned against them and they I don't think we've seen somebody lame and actually win the game yet so <laughs> i'm but, happy but, both players are missing yeah, and you know, credit to Krasini, because he did an amazing map with the elephants. We don't point out that so much, but I don't know if you noticed, the elephants are on a side or at the back. And this is job for the map creator, I'm... you know, and... Guys, if, if you see Krasini yeah. in the chat, please say hello, say that he did an amazing job, because these exactly. maps, it's, it's amazing. It's open, it's aggressive, the elephants are hard to lame, but it's still lameable. It, it, it is an oh, amazing map generation. Sorry, Krasini is terrible map creator because Leary is limiting the elephant. You know? <laughs> Le Leary, Are Leary you is, me? don't say hello to Krasini. He's terrible disaster because because the <laughs> oh, because Leary is limiting. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's great. He it's can nobody can lame, and then Lear is no. lame. The... <laughs> it's happened twice today that I say something, and a second yeah. later, the it's exact crazy, opposite man. happened. Yeah. Oh, 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 but look at doubt. Look so at doubt. Bad. Doubt trying to Who lame, trying to to stop doubt the lame. The sorry. APM. Ooh, Lear is just this. standing there. Well, Senna Villier. Now. Look at this. He says, "Stop even the scout completely." For a while, guys, this is the micro from the kid. This is the kid, 20 years old. No, man, 18 years old, as you can see there from Austria. And the elephant, 400 foot more in the back. For the Mongols. With the Mongols. People, don't forget, Leary is playing as the Mongols. This elephant is going to be gone in a second. He's eating this so quickly. 
And if Leary also decides to push there, I don't even think he has to. But that's so much food for Leary. But look at Doubt. Look at Doubt. He is smelling this elephant. He walks straight past it. He's gonna Not take a villa here. Yeah. Gonna take a villa here. Yeah. The but there's but he did he did the loom and he's up to feel the lead. He did loom. He did what? because he's up to feel the leads already. Super quick. And he's up without even taking his own elephant. Okay, what the hell? There's still an elephant for him to gather, and he's already up. There's going to be a lot of food for potential scouts from Leary. Yeah, well, in and the other side... Without the boar. Yeah. He, look how he's trying to get those those zebras. Leary, it's already forward and spotted the barrack, but this is a super quick up with uh, 19 population and the looming clue. Yeah, it's, it's solid. It's solid, and now doubt is in problems. Yeah, definitely big problems for Doubt. He's also queuing up a Drush. So this smells a little bit like a Drush FC maybe from Doubt trying to recover from the lame. I don't think it's going to be an FC, but definitely a Drush from Doubt because he's not clicking up anytime soon. And that's a little bit weird for me. He should definitely commit to walls and that's that's what he's doing. He's walling on the, light, on the left. We'll probably start walling on the right. He needs to be safe against the early Mongol Adon. aggression that's coming up. How much walls he need to wall all this map? Oh wow, yeah, a lot. Look at the map. A lot. Look at the map. I uh, yeah, need yeah, to yeah. wall oh, and look a at lot. Leary, man. Leary is going straight to archers. Mm. Are you kidding me? Jivate it. Uh, we, we are jivated. Jivate. Jivate it completely. It's typical for Leo. You see, completely different approach. Previous Mongols and Astros was completely different. Different players, different gameplay. He's going arches and he's gonna try to go extremely aggressive. And then he's gonna be amazing. Why? Because Doubt is in Dark Age forever. Wow, that is such a smart move from Leary. And what a smooth build order as well. Everything is running. Leary is making a Spearman, he's making archers, and his TC is running all at once. The Drush from Doubt is going to find zero damage. Now, I would like for Leary to go forward with these archers and not even Mon try and take out the Drush first. Doubt just w pass when the elephant was still there. What the Lord can think that he's feudal age already and he see the 400 foot from the elephant and he knows there. The, oh, no. And he didn't take it. He's like, disrespect or what? Like, yeah, that, crazy, that man. Yeah, almost feels... Really? Ah, that feels so bad. If, if you see that the Mongol player still has a 400 foot elephant right there to take. But Moon, ah, that, um, that is... Doubt map now is safe. He's wall. He's wall the wood. The, 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 the food of use is fine because he has uh, the farmers, but not the berries. And the goal? How he protect that goal now? Terrible. He can't. He, he walled it out. Doubt is gonna have to play without gold, so he could potentially play skirmishers and spearmen and try to win the map control with that and then re-wall it and wall out that main gold. Drop potentially a tower on that gold would also not be a bad thing. But yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure how Doubt is gonna try and play this map. Well, it's let's not see. looking great. Not looking, not looking great. Spears, Archers, look at the scout. Um, no, he's going aggressive, completely aggressive. Only with one Archie Reach and Blasmith is so popular, man. Archie Reigns, Blasmith, you got the Fletching, yeah. and uh, and then you make a lot of damage. Doubt is up now. His economy is okay, and Blasmith and Archie Reigns as well right away. But he's getting the push from Leary all the time. Didn't kill anything or not to... Yeah, he didn't kill anything at all. But he's all, all this idle time, right? Exactly. And all that idle time that amounts up to, to a big pile of resources you're lacking that your opponent does have. And and I like the way that Doubt is approaching this. If you don't have gold, what is the best next unit to deal with this? It's skirmishers. So the fact that Doubt does not have his main gold right now actually doesn't hurt him at all. It's actually, it, it's it's fine for Doubt. He has enough to make skirmishers. He doesn't need gold for that. He's going to well, be able to clean up this. He has problem. a problem. He needs 10 gold to make fletching. Oh no, he's missing that 10? Yeah, yes, man, he is. Because he did one ace How from Elysia. One is from Elysia that he shouldn't, shouldn't do, and now he can't make him. For that, he's doing the padded archer armor, spear, archer, look at the scout, okay. he need to go around. He's being really annoying on with the militias and the eagle. Doubt is doing an amazing job according to the, the circumstances.
I completely agree, man. Like, the way Doubt has been playing this so far, after being quite behind with the lame, is beautiful. He's gonna clean up these archers on the on the main gold as well, and he's doing some counter damage on that main gold. Honestly, the way Doubt has been playing this is flawless, if you yeah, consider that he's got lame the boar. But we're missing uh, something. Elephant, sorry. We're missing something. Leo is already with the scouts and forging even. So he has a stable. Yeah, but is that a smart move? Well, he want to he want to go full aggressive. He know that that doubt is going to skirmishes now, and uh, and he okay, should have yeah. not the greatest economy, according to all that raiding, and he can't go for for like uh, okay, I'm gonna wait to go cast. Like he, he need to go aggro, archers and scouts with yeah, plus one. True need to deal with the spear and let's see what is he going to be able to do now okay. yeah but don't forget that leary's main gold is also terrible so it, make a tower? it's actually doubt now that's yeah i i honestly both of them shoot both of them should just drop a tower on that main gold right now doubt is the one jumping this sniping yet another archer two archers go down for leary doubt not losing anything right there the kd seven to one in favor of the lord right now similar villages count but look at the military difference doubt got lamed an elephant he's playing against mongols it's early feudal mongols should be miles ahead right now but doubt it's is not playing happening. amazing yeah it's not happening he lost a lot of units while did he kill too much. Look at that house. Now the scouts are coming with 40. Look at the small palace. They tried with the quick scouts. walls. Now he's gonna try to focus on those spears. And if he kills these spears, the scouts will change completely the KD, amigo. They will change the KD completely, True. but the spears are still alive, so he needs to go back. And he's even with his scale barding armor already. And his economy is still really good because he never got attacked at home with the farmers and so on. And with all the upgrades he did, it's still almost 400 food in the bank. Wow. Exactly, yeah, that is true. Like that idle time right now, that is probably the, the difference maker. But Doubt with the tower at home is completely safe. Leary doing the same thing. So both players did commit to that tower on their main gold, which makes a lot of sense. Right now, I'm gonna guess that we're gonna see a Castle Age transition. Leary's diving this with the scouts. Not really that great, but he did snipe one eagle. Grocery store now coming up from Doubt, dropping that market next to his, his tower. Will try and buy himself up. Leary doing the exact same thing. Both players, similar village accounts, similar military accounts. Both players dropping a market, getting a very similar castle each time. Yeah, they are going to they are going to get there. I think Leo is going to go like I told you, want to see for a while even in Castle Age. That that's my feeling. He don't even have a stone now to make another, and he's not mining any stone. Completely different approach that when Nick of played. But with the scout, he's trying to make some damage. But man, he balanced and doubt is up to Castle Age faster than Leary wow. after being lame. It Aztec's power in the house. Crazy. Ah, yeah, man. Beautiful, beautiful how he adapted now doing the barrack. He's expecting to be much faster than Leo, but then he will see that Leo is going to be up 13 seconds difference. 13 second difference and he's gonna go full night? What do you think? Oh, that's difficult to say. Doubt is dropping an extra stable. Leary still committing to making archers. I'm gonna guess he will commit to crossbows, but Leary has also has like all the, the tags for knights, right? So how easy is it for Leary to just commit to a few knights and he is dropping a second stable. So Leary going Cavalier, whereas Doubt is going Eagles. This favors the Cavalier for sure. Well, let's see, because he's three Barak, Aztecs can spam faster. That this this is also a difference with Winchester game because Winchester went only to barracks if you remember in the start. Then he had yeah, the TC. Yeah, I, I feel that Doubt is gonna try to go full one TC. I feel it that, but yeah, that's, yeah, that's I, I think that would be smart. Triple barrack, but then he also like he's going full eagles right now. But I feel like he needs pikemen in there. If your opponent is going full calf, if you go full eagles, you're not gonna be in a good spot. But if you've got a mixture between eagles. Look, 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 disengage, look at disengage, before he's doing oh, the armors, he's skirmishes, he got the arches, a lot of uh, arches, if he kills those spears, oh boy, he's gonna take this battle, is this a good battle for Leary or look for Doubt? Look at the micro, I think this is Doubt, this is beautiful for Doubt, but Doubt is losing some of, that was so good from Doubt, that micro was excellent, is he even gonna dive this tower? 
Is he gonna dive the tower? I think he will. Put everything beneath the tower. Yes, he does. That is but huge, but at the same time, Leary is Castle Age. We'll poop out the knights. We'll probably clean up this Pluto Age army. But not, more eagles no, no, moving no. in. Many eagles, exactly. Three bar racks, a lot of, a lot of eagles, what? I think. I think now Leary was overconfident and probably doubt might be able to take this game. I don't know. We will see. It's still too early, but there's so many eagles now. The military so numbers, 14, so 13, cheap. with three army only for Leary and... This is looking good. He deleted the house. And let's see the knights because they have the heal advantage. He got the tower also that is hitting those. And uh, the eagles are plus two, plus two. While the knights and are Leary... only... Pl oh, it's plus two as well. Okay. And Leary can only make one more knight and then he's out of gold. His knight production is going to slow down. Whereas Doubt is going to maintain his production. Leary's got, what, five villagers on gold? It's not enough to produce knights non-stop, but ah, oh, Doubt has to bail on this. If only he had a few more eagles, he monks. could have kept Leary off of his gold. Monks. Potentially monks as well. Monks yeah. is what he needs, and he has now the monastery. There you go, three barracks. He's gonna send a monk. Now, he still have the, the, the numbers, not that much anymore. 44 village, 43, seven army, 11 army. The monks can't really put here a lot, a lot into, into Doubt game. Gold sub mining. It's going all in doubt, and this is, in my opinion, the right strategy. I love this from Dao, and this is also why Aztecs is such a good sieve. Their early castle age is also where they shine with the cheap eagles, a lot of them as well. Big fight going down now. Who's gonna win this? They are, both, are, hmm. both are killing a lot. Quite Those knights are plus yeah. two. There's the monk. Now I need to go back. That's the problem. He got the tower, go he walled here. now. But um, the numbers are so similar oh still. I mean... It's so close, man. 45 to 45 villagers. Military-wise, they're both tickling each other non-stop. Yes, Doubt on paper has more military, but if you consider that Leary's got knights, which is in general stronger than like one eagle, that is extremely close. They're completely balancing each other out right now, which is amazing. But that's more expensive, so I think Doubt will have the advantage. That's why the score is, is definitely ahead for, for him. He needs to be careful. He's trying to go raid. The monks are going to do the job. He's going to wall the Palisade game. Whoa! Beautiful. Whoa. He walled it now. He's going to convert. Nah. The, 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 this would be really, really, really good. Really, really good for Doubt. He converted two knights out of five. Nice. This is looking great for Sad Panda. And man, what a difference between the last game where Leary was non-stop running these knights inside of Doubt's base. Now there's no hole for Doubt. Doubt's eco has been somewhat untouched. And Doubt is actually doing really well right now. A three villager lead all of a sudden. And his military numbers are increasing rapidly. For me, the problem here is not even the village numbers anymore. Is that he's having huge amount of army, and it's gonna go more and more. He got the walls here in front, but how do you stop that? There's a hole in the wood lane. There's a hole in the wood lane. So if he's not fixing, he's gonna oh take boy. also more and more villages. He's still raiding now all over with those eagles. And if Doubt is not winning this game, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say, but. This is his moment, but look at Leary going behind the aggression. We'll snipe one monk right there. We'll probably snipe a second monk on the right. And Billy the relic. Yeah, this could be good for Leary. There's not enough army here for Dao to stop this. Yeah, but he compared those monks are already with what? Well, not, not more HP. I thought he got some upgrades. He's taking some villages. He's crazy, man. He is still similar villages, but that, doing a, a tone center out here. Still raiding a lot. Man, Leo is doing again the same. He, he's trying to raid as much as he can. He's crazy. Is he... I don't know. Oh, Doubt is not getting a single conversion right there, man. No, 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 He's but look at that comp. Three monks. Look at that comp, Leary. He's losing oh, everything. Oh, but look at Leary, yeah. Also losing everything. everything. Look at the yeah. villager numbers. Now, this is Doubt game. From doubt. This is Doubt game. Aztecs is so difficult. It's so difficult to play with this approach. And we have to say big, 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 big recognition to Doubt. One elephant less. Being one Lee elephant was less. Don't three forget elephants. how the game started. And the Mongols. As Mongols, man. Yeah, man. Three elephants, Mongols. 
and getting well that was literally the only thing that went Leary's way this whole game was the lame because from there on out Dao's Drush was amazing Dao's follow-up was really nice very very solid game from Dao yeah, well, it was really, really good. So, it's not well, over yet, though. Leary's no, no. going from the right. Now is trying to go for another round of of uh, raiding. And Leary's completely open. He's not the Waller type of player. He likes to play open. He likes the aggression. But this is the moments where playing open is going to hurt a lot. Yeah, it's, moment, it's pretty sorry. crazy. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, well, bike when I but he's here, he's ready to I mean, we go for the game number this, four. This should be uh, Yeah, yeah. This is, GG. yeah, there, there you go. go. There you go, man. Game number four in come. Doubt using the Aztecs. Aztecs, you need to play them perfect to really take them. At this level, you really need to, to, to do it perfect because they are so dangerous, man. I completely agree. And I don't really know what Leary... Like, it felt a little bit soft, Leary's played. He lost... I don't when, know. You, when you he went aggressive with the archer range, Mon, he lost yeah. all his army. Yeah. He was maybe a bit yeah. overconfident. I think so, too. But let's give credit to Doubt. Doubt was on point in this one. Wow. He never leave a hole, a single hole. And Amazing. Uh, Doubt better economy in everything for sure. 52 villages, 47. And like you saw, guys... Here, when he was going to raid in several times, he never got raided, and Doubt took the game. Game number four in common. Now, game number four is just happening here, yes. So, there we go. Game number four, Leary versus Doubt. Doubt versus Leary, with me Moon Faller the whole day. And now we're going to talk about this matchup. Franks and Mayans. Mr. Moon, oh with boy. doubt in the yeah. south as a blue and green leer in the north. For you, who, who yeah, is so here with the, with the advantage? For the longest time, the advantage was clear for everybody. It was Mayans, but that's primarily because the pathing of the knights was a little bit off. Now the DE developers have done amazing things to the pathing of the knights, and now it's in a really good state. The game in general is in a really good state, but the pathing of the knights has been improved and. Going with Knights is yet again such a solid move. And Franks, they do it better than any other Sif. So, right now we've got Mayans. And Mayans are amazing. They've got a lot of, a lot of, you know, units that they could pick from. A lot of solid unit choices. But Franks, with their Cavalier, with their throwing X-Men to deal with uh, the Mayans, Eagle Warriors, the Cavalier to deal with the Plumed Archers. They're quicker than the Plumed Archers. With Franks, you're definitely not without a shot. But personally, man, because I love playing the Mayan way, I, I'm, I'm going to prefer Mayans. But I see what you're getting at, that they're, it's definitely a cool matchup. Well, one villain down for... Ooh, Lear with the, with, the, with the fast wall. But he has to be careful. That villain is He's in danger to be it. lost. Is oh. in danger to be lost, not gonna lose it. He has to palisade again or he will lose that villain. Oh, oh my god, he's gonna get Leary and, and let's go down. Quick wall, but lost it. it. Lost it, doubt, laming. And this is the problem with the oh, eagle is fast. They're one villain down so easily, super quick. Back in the days, people after this, they would call a restart. And that's why we don't have a restart in this tournament. Because what yeah. what Doubt is doing is pure skills, you know? Why a restart for that? But now he lost the eagle. Honestly, lost I prefer eagle, to man. keep the scout than than losing a value. Now I was it's a lot about of to ask you. I, I completely agree. So yes, he killed a, a villager, but he lost his eagle. Now on lower lower levels, you would definitely prefer killing a villager over keeping your scout alive. But on their level, scouting is the most important thing. And look at how Leary is using his scout already. Pushing deer. That's already 140 food extra for Leary. And if you consider that a villager is only 50 food, yeah, I know that's a bad comparison, but Leary is going to be able to gather more food under his TC. Leary's going to be able to get the scouting he needs. I really don't like this decision from Doubt 
to waste this eagle warrior and, and and just trading it off with a villager yeah well and that can be happy that he got all the goats i'm you i was just checking if he get them all yes he did the ostriches are not really okay. far but now he cannot push it and uh, like you say leo is just pushing them all and now this one village ahead that can be two can be two whoa that's it's true that uh yeah, and he has Mayans, no loom there. He starts he's, with he's an extra. Ability. Yeah, Mayan start. He lost a villager, but Ooh, when yeah. he do the loom, it's going to be even two villagers. Oh, boy. Okay. That's going to be complicated. But let's see what Leo can do here. I mean, I like the Frank's uh, civilization because the mobility, but he's going to go approach. When he's doing the, the house that forward, he's going to make the barrack just close to that one. Probably. Probably, yeah. yeah but one thing we haven't really considered, man, is that Dao traded off his eagle warrior against the Frank? Now the Frank scout in few in Dark Age is a completely generic scout, but once this scout went up to feudal age, it suddenly would get that Frank bonus. So it's not that bad that this scout is really weak right now, because if in, in feudal age this scout would turn into would turn into like a really solid scout. So that's somewhat decent, and Dao is going for a lot of aggression early barrack. Yeah, well, and Leo is about to click up. He's clicking up now with uh, 19 population. That will be 20 because he lost a failure. Like you say, that scout could be a little bit stronger, but it's really important. I mean, now he can explore. He can gather information. He need to be careful because that scout is in danger. If he if he just uh, get with two failures, it's, it's going to be bye-bye with two hits, basically. Yes. And now, exactly. but now he see the main goal. So he knows, he knows, Moon, that, that he's very close. Everything is yeah, very that close. Is true. You see the militia already. Oh, it was in the point Ooh, of view, but, but he did didn't he see notice. It? I don't know. He, and he, he didn't, didn't spot back. the barrack. This might not be good for Leary. Like Leary, yes, he's got his scout alive, but he got so unlucky scouting this. If you look at Leary's point of view, he literally like one Miss tile all. away from finding everything. Yeah, he missed it all. And uh, Leary is now going to make the barrack with obviously two villages because if not it's not gonna be in time it's gonna be a late barrack okay. two villages there you go the militias are coming three militias going to the woodland well if they're going to that woodland on the right side it's difficult to walk because there's some kills so not gonna be easy to defend that one and doubt is getting what he want wall all the map and get time yeah. time to go cast yeah. oh 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 exactly and it, it, I know it's not the most entertaining playstyle, but this is the way Mayans is played. And everything about Mayans says that this is the way. Your cheaper walls, you know, your, your better eco, you have to take maximum advantage of it. And this is the way you wall it off. And in Castle Age, you've got such a solid sieve. I, lo I love this from Dao, but I know it doesn't make for the best games. Well, Leary... Or at least Le early on. Yeah, Le Leary's spotting absolutely everything he knows what's, what is happening here 27 villages three villages on goal so is leo going to go forward yes he's going forward with oh two villages and gonna make a tower probably in that goal i will ha i don't know if two villages is too little in case that he's not gonna be in time to make the tower it's gonna be close mm. and you don't want to to get denied because it's very important why is very important? Because look at the map for for doubt. He got everything inside? Not really. Stone is exposed, and Not that really. gold is super exposed as well. Yeah, I mean, if he loses this gold, then all these walls, yep, yes, they're looking nice, but still, all your resources are denied. And you know what? Doubt is dark age. He can't make a counter tower, but Leary is making a, a, a mistake right now, and it's somewhat of a rookie mistake. He's dropping this tower straight next to Doubt's walls. Now Doubt could delete one palisade that's kissing the tower and then hit it with a villager. And that is a solid option for Doubt to go and defend this. But for now, he is not reacting at all. Yeah, but this is tricky to do because he can do that. But then Lee can make a quick palisade as well in the same spot. For that reason, sometimes they don't do it. And then he okay. could try even get inside in mine and the mess he can create there Ooh, with yeah. the scout and so on. The tower is there. Now no goal. But he can't go for the fast castle. He doesn't have the resources. His economy is good for sure. And now that tower with only two villages is, well, 
Not gonna deny too much. And the scouts are gonna clean those militias in front. So the game is gonna go for the feudal approach at least for a while. Yes, and finally Dao's Dirsch gets cleaned up by Liri. Liri is not on stone, so yes, Liri has now two villages forward, not being able to make a second tower. How is he gonna use those fi those villagers? He's almost gonna be forced to make like a forward range or something, or just send them back home, or go for for stone. Now taking stone with Franks is not a bad thing, because having stone in Castle Age will allow you to get your cheap castles up. So it would not be bad for Liri to take stone, but it would dramatically uh, delay his castle each time and therefore Liri is opting to go for gold instead of going for stone and I really like this like his, his initial tower yes it was a decent tower but now it's countered he's not gonna fully commit to trash the Mayan player let's see what what Liu is doing because those villages are in danger to be lost he's going to go home I think he's gonna be fine but Frank's economy is so solid he did few scouts and now he's matching the resources for doubt when doubt was trying to go transition to castle age and uh, I don't know. I mean, the map for for Doubt is very exposed. It's perfect, in my opinion, to to leave it to make a siege wars up in top of that hill and go one TC push. I completely agree. But look at this from Doubt. That's a cheeky move. Adding three spearmen just to scare these villages off and just get the scouting intel he needs. Because look at this from Doubt. Right away, going for the goodies, spotting that archery range. Now he knows that Leary has a range now he knows how to act and that is really good for doubt so having intel about your opponent always so important can't stress it enough Leary not dropping a defensive tower on his gold doesn't need it for now but no. if doubt decided to go for archery ranges which would be exactly what he's doing I will make I will make two three skirmishes if I was Leary there very cheap he's not doing any yeah but he's about to click up to castle it's what a what a smooth both. transition to castle is for both yeah but but man when you are doing a scout and you are able to reach castle it's at the end even faster than the Mayans that's a solid a solid macro man what <laughs> the hell definitely yeah solid. like Super solid, but and now he's doing a few skirmishes because he smelled the arches coming. Gold mining upgrade, few skirmishes, another archy range. He's walling a little bit around. This is gonna be a fun game for sure in Castle Age. It's gonna be nice. And so man, nice. I'm, I'm just, I'm just in love with these pro players. Like they know what's coming before they even scouted it. They just read the game like a book. Okay. Leary spider senses were going off. He dropped that archery range. He is making skirmishers. Very solid move from Leary. Also, I kind of like these walls. He's walling with an arch around his main gold, making sure it's safe, keeping the skirms on the hill, also providing that extra line of sight to see if anything's coming that way. Very good moves from Leary. Yeah. Both cannot make another extra TC. Now, the Plasmith. Because he didn't have the Plasmith, Mr. Leary. And Doubt. Doubt has the Fletch in. The spears are coming and the arches, but but Leary is there with the scout, exploring absolutely everything. Fog of war, he's missing the eagle, but he can see the arches now. There you go, few skirmishes. He need the fletching fast. He need to wall. Leary's gonna wall just in time. The skirmishers gonna have the fletching, yes. And he has only one stable because I believe that he's gonna go some nice skirmishes and probably probably a monastery. I don't know. Let's exactly, see. Exactly. Yeah. Look at this from Doubt. Doubt is going to commit to going heavy archers, not going for an eagle switch. Makes sense against Franks going eagles. It's, it's a good. tough, tough yeah. position. Yeah, exactly. And I like I like this from Doubt. He's got some spearmen, he's got some archers. He's knocking on the door, but Leary's going to keep him out. Doubt is not going to overcommit to keeping this hill. He's going to move back. He's going to wait for his army. And now he's got map control he's running around he's trying to check what he's doing he's gonna keep his eagle on the right side just to scout and look at this from doubt he's gonna spot the elite skirmishers so that's kind of forcing doubt to make eagles anyway so let's take a quick look at doubt's base is he pooping out eagle scouts yes he is so doubt spotting the elite skirmishers already making a counter to it yeah but uh, but 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 I prefer the knights and the skirmishes here because basically he's counter everything he has. So for me, a doubt should make at this point maybe 
a monastery or a siege at home. Because if now Liu is coming with a siege war so forward, it can be a real problem. Because the army he has with Botkin are released skirmishes and those knights, well, the knights are oh, not boy, a single yeah. upgrade. So well, they got the 120 HP because of Franks. I don't know. Let's see because this is not mining stone. He's doing the siege war up Liri at home. At home? Yes. On top of the hill. That is interesting from Liri. But probably a good move, right? Like he doesn't want to take any risks. Hmm. Yeah, doubt is more military. It makes sense to make this at home. He'll probably commit to probably a mango, maybe a scorpion as well. There's the mango from Liri. Yeah, definitely, definitely good to make this defensive. But look at Leary's raids with the skirmishers at the bottom. Some nice. And Billy down. Yes. He take oh. one Billy. Now he's going around. Doubt is going around with the Eagles and the crossbows. That wood line is a little bit exposed. Let's see if Leary's going to spot it instantly. The Tom Watch is not done, in my opinion, but he's going to hit the Palisade. So he's going to spot himself. And let's see what he can do. He can see the two bullets on stone. Of course, he has one TC extra. He's trying to raid. Uh-oh. Uh Liu need to move villains now. Boy. And he's in problems at home. Is Doubt aware of this? Hmm. I think Liu going to escape. But Doubt at home as well, man. As you said, there's a... I mean, he's open. The, the knights are knocking. Liu just needs to move them in. Doubt has some crossbows now to deal with this. That he lost one million. Doubt is... Oh, boy. But he's also losing. Oh, the knights are uh, is, is there <clears throat> either. He need to go back. Okay, and now let's see. Both of because... them are killing each other. Look at the archers from Doubt at the same time, idling all the farms, and that is huge. If you're Franks, you need your food to produce the knights. Now there is a mango, but the mango is getting tucked away by these eagles. Is he gonna get the mango? He needs to get this mango. He wants to get the mango, but the eagles go down and the mango lives. Ooh, pickle, pickle, pickle right there for Leary. And in the meantime, Doubt's own eco. Wait, 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 wait. Mangola shot is a good one. If he if he recover, I mean he need to kill here. Otherwise, he's gonna be in problems because Doubt is now with he's more wild. army. More villages is he's... getting is getting a lot of abilities advantage. The Mangola shot! Mangola shot! Oh, open formation, Doubt is on point! And now, and now. Well, at the end, I think he will clean up, but these archers did their job. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, this is more often than not, not going to end well for Doubt, but so far, not, you know, not a great He killed everything but... there. He killed everything, but I yeah. think, I think that now Liu need to go aggressive because Doubt is starting to have an important advantage with the economy. He doesn't have a stone yet to drop a castle, but now it's time to push, really. He need to push. In my opinion, at least. I completely agree. Yeah, but does Le let me go to Leary scouting. Does Leary know that Doubt has a lot of TCs? He should know. He should know that Leary has less uh, TCs. Leary actually won TC. And don't forget that Leary just got raided as well. So Leary knows that he's very far behind right now and that he needs to go aggressive. That he knows already. He's adding a second stable. He's going to go one TC push. The skirmishes are coming. The Nets are plus one. He needs to repair that mango. Like he's not. That heal is so important. He's getting ballistic, but ballistic against knights, skirmishes, and two mango nails. That would need a sick micro. A sick micro now to dominate. He's going to make it. We will see. The problem for Leo is that at home, he's still super exposed. Like in the wood line and everything, and yeah. if Doubt is going to snipe, oh boy. But Doubt should really stay here at home, because if not, if he's getting inside, it's gonna be so problematic. He's gonna make pikes. He's doing three Pyrex. Doubt is trying I love to this spam. From Doubt. Yeah, so Doubt is not underestimating this push. Doubt is gonna convert all of his economy right now. You can even tell that he's idling some of his TCs. He's not scared that either is TCs, TCs right now. He knows that he's ahead in eco. He only needs to keep his base safe. He's going for full military production. And Doubt already with 27 military. Going for a counterattack with the crossbow. Straight for Leary's wood line. If he gets to kill two or three villagers here, that will only give him a bigger villager lead. 
Well, he, he doesn't even need because he's already 20 volleys ahead. But there you go. Is Leo going to react? One volley down. Two volleys down. No, because no, no. Yeah, two, three. Three volleys down. Even with Bell Ballistic is the way to go. Then in front, in front, Leo need to control those mangles and the Knights. He's gonna now with the Eagles. The problem here for Doubt is that if he's getting inside, the massacre he can do with the Knights and Mangles is insane. But Doubt has... Scouting. He, ha doubt. he has no clue about all these production buildings. Doubt has so many barracks and I can't believe, but this is looking so good for Doubt at the moment. So good. There's the pikeman. Oh boy. What no, a no, no. switch from Doubt. That pikeman switch, man. Beautiful tech switch. Super quick. Super quick. That, that switch is now gonna take some pikes. He need to repair the mangoes. He's gonna lose the mangoes, but he's also losing so many units. So many units, but the mangoes are going to be down. Taking two mangoes down at this stage is just sick. Wow, In the north, is huge. many, many arches is going down, but man, we are going to a decided game. Unbelievable, but wow, there you go. Man. The Lord is making this happen, and we are going for a five fifth game. Incredible. I mean, I, he need Incredible. to finish. He need to finish, but he just well domination, man. Domination. Look at that field difference right now. What a play from Doubt. Incredible high gameplay. And Doubt's APM is not is not that crazy, but he wins with solid decisions and and just the making, making the, man. the right strategic choices. It's crazy how he wins these games against players that are way quicker. That are younger, that have more, they've they've got faster reaction speeds. But this is a strategic game, people. And if you've got the best strategic choices, you can be on top of the world. Yes, and uh, well, doubt with a solid economy, four tone centers, four TCs, leering now with only one TC, losing everything. GG call two two. And we are going for a decider game. <laughs> it's over midnight oh here in Spain. And uh, there yeah. we go. 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> Another decided game, man. People was telling that, that, that last week, well, too many 3 seed, oh, blah, blah. Well, you wanted decided games today? You got I three want, series. Yeah. <laughs> three series for decided games in this one. Unbelievable, man. Oh, Crazy man. stuff. And uh, Doubt took this. Really, really solid, to be honest. Really yeah, solid. I'm so much impressed by Doubt. He, he looked really solid. Like his micro, his multitasking. He he wasn't leaving holes like he did in that first game. It really felt like he was on point everywhere. Yep. And that, that final pike switch from Doubt, that completely killed Leary's whole push, was a game-winning switch. Well, do you have seen while Moon is talking about all those details that... All resources better for doubt. And uh, guys, <laughs> it's over midnight. And uh, doubt shining the night, guys. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are just starting right now. And we have the decided game of an incredible series. This can change a lot in the tournament. Leo and doubt, game number five. And we need to see. Doubt as a blue, Leary as a green in the south. Doubt with the Saracens, a crazy civilization because of the market bonus. And Leary in the north. Yes. I just want to ask you something, Moon. If you yeah, tell me not ahead. so long ago that decided game in this kind of tournament and then the civilization picked by the players Saracens, I tell you, you need to stop drinking. Yeah, you're a joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah but look a... at now. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. I honestly think, man, that Doubt has something prepared for Saracen. This is the most important game of the whole evening. It's the decider map uh, match, sorry, and he's picking Saracen. Now, Saracens is one of those saves where you can actually practice a very particular playstyle with because of that market. It allows you to either go up to Causeways really quick. It allows you to go for like a weird eco balance and still make a lot of military. I'm really curious to see how he's going to be playing Saracen. Yeah, it's, it's pretty tricky, but um, Doubt has 
Brutal knowledge about the game. He might have a build order completely prepared for this one. And we can check, guys. We can check and put the overlay here just to 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 put doubt as uh, Saracens. And then the slabs that I'm surprised a little bit, but yeah, they, they are solid. It depends how the game is going, you know. And this is this is the both civilizations. Saracens crazy market. Uh, the slabs, honestly, they they are just great. Happy. Thank you for that crazy donation, amigo. Now I'm happy to. <laughs> yeah, that nickname was was solid, you know. Yeah, best nickname. <laughs> <laughs> and but but look at the Saracens market. So cheap. The ratio for this change is it's just amazing. You know, it's uh, well, I don't know. What, what what do you think, Mr. Mr. Moon? Yeah, I, I, like I said earlier, Saracens they've got options, and I'm really curious to see. I doubt it's gonna play this, but at the same time, Slavs from from Leary, and he's going four on wood, which is a bit of a surprise for me. So Slavs usually go scouts. But I'm correct, but don't forget about the Slavs. They don't need even supplies. I mean, the infantry exactly they have free supplies. That's what I'm thinking it's it's fantastic, you know. So it's very solid to go militias if you want, and uh, well. Usually feel confident with this approach transition to 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 archers, and then he can oh oh Lamin, Lamin again for Leary. Let's see because he's four. Ooh, is he spotting the boar? He, oh, he missed it by by an inch. He missed it. Yes, he missed it. Yeah, he missed and then, it. And then you make you can make transition to to go against potentially archery rings, but we have seen the Saracens go in the stable, then make the market, uh, mine gold and, and store even, and sell resources. This is so unpredictable match right now. Exactly, and that's kind of why I love it. Looking at Doubt's map, man, I think it's actually a very good map. One of the best maps we've seen today. Two golds behind this TC. The berry is also somewhat safe, and he could potentially even wall this. This is a very uncharacteristic map for what we've seen today. Yep. Even on the left side, I see three wood lines at the front. It is definitely a wallable map, so it, maybe it, a Drush FC? It's wallable, but but there's still too many gaps, you know, like... Uh, a lot to wall is far from the TC, you know, and if the other is coming and he's doing already True. the barrack and coming with the militias uh, soon, it's tricky. He's still uh, trying to start to wall. No loom by 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 doubt, and uh, let's see what he's yeah. he gonna try. But but Leary is doing the barrack and gonna make militias or gonna go up? Because I feel that he's going to go up after this failure. Yeah. Yeah, this going is a man at arm play from Leary. And uh, you might be right. He might be using that slough infantry that free supplies. It would be really interesting. He is dropping a second lumber camp. Mm. I think the supplies kicks in when he hits feudal age, right? For sure. So not if he now. makes not militia now, now? No, 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 yeah, no. they're just gonna be the standard price. So is he gonna wait with making militia? Well, he's not on gold, so maybe he's just going. Uh, he's just going scouts. Uh, scouts. Yeah, and yeah. doubt is walling completely. Let's remind you guys that doubt has won two games, mines and Aztecs. So the civilizations still matters, and people still say that in this uh, in this map. The Meso Sieves are so dangerous, and it seems that they are right. The ratio uh, win losses is solid in the tournament for, for the Meso Sieves. Of course, they, they don't win all the games because there is not a civilization almost that win all the games if you play a lot with them. But Doubt is in a decider, is doing the right thing. I mean, I don't like the walls, but it's he's smart. walling yeah. absolutely everything. Leo is walling just the wood line, one, one of those. And nothing else, and again, the exploration, man. Not exploring anything. Well, yeah, just keeping a scout there. Okay. I don't know about that, but I, I like this from Doubt. Like the walls are definitely gonna give him some time to, to do whatever he wants to do. And I'm not sure what that is. He's dropping a stable now. Interesting from Doubt. Doubt, dropping a stable. Is he gonna commit? Is he gonna sell his stone to go up to castle sure. quickly? A hundred percent. To, to try yeah, to go I, castle it as fast as possible, surprise uh, Leary, but he's not gonna surprise Leary because Leary is going to table as well. He got already one spear, so now he's gonna be safer. And the problem here for the Saracens is that, of course, the advantage is. Ooh, 
this this is a small hole, not anymore. The problem for the stars is that, of okay. course, you go with the market. But if the game go longer, Slav's economy kick. It, it just kick exactly. with, with the farmers. It, it, it's true. Like with Saracens, you're bound to a time limit. You're going to be up to castles age a lot quicker than your opponent. But if you don't use that advantage right there and then, the longer the game goes on, Slavs will just pull ahead in eco. And it's going to be a very, very tricky situation to come back from. But look at Doubt. Could have probably transitioned into a Castle Age using the Saracen Market. Instead, it's going to go for a feudal play, adding scouts. Do you like this, man? Well, uh, I... I don't know, man. I, I really, really don't know. Thank you so much for the support, guys. If I don't say thank you, it's because I'm focusing these beautiful boys as a co that I have. And... Uh, <laughs> but... Doubt got the advantage for sure. Like... He's gonna go scout. He's gonna try to raid. Double stable. Double. No way. Double this is... stable. Doubt. He's oh gonna try gosh. to go no with blind lanes. All the crazy strategies he's preparing. You... Double stable for doubt. You gotta be kidding me, man. I mean, double stable. Double stable. He's gonna Zero surprise. Farms. This is incredible, man. And this is what we were talking about at the start of the game, man. Doubt is picking Saracens because he's been practicing a particular Something. build order. Something. He has been practicing this and he hasn't showed this to anybody. And look at these stables. Look at the amount of scouts he's got. That is insane. And you know what, Leary? Leary's not fully walled yet. So if Doubt shows up now with these bad boys and that's what he's doing, he's going for it. This could be a shocker for Leary. Yes, because now uh, we are in the, the situation that overconfident, doubt, bloodlines, bloodlines and Leo need to react super quick. He's gonna see now the scout. Look at the amount of a scout he's sending. Look at the amount of a scout he's sending. Leo can see now. He need to wall. He need to wall fast. He's not walling anything. Leary is still not reaction. Not Leary walling anything. Wall. He's with bloodlines, but man, he do not he's notice. Take this fight. It's really taking this fight. You're gonna lose everything, this Leary. Could be game I can't believe, Leary. man. Leary's gonna fight this. Oh boy. Now he's gonna is try to amazing wall. Amazing for doubt. Well, he's killing one villager. play from this. Two villagers. Look at this. Look at this. The economy for Leary. Me, yeah, the economy for Leary is really solid, but scouts with bloodlines. You know, and now be careful. Spears are there, but no, 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 not looking good. Not looking good. He's still wow. opening the wood line. He's going to go around. Resources for Lear are good. He's not walling the wood line. I can't believe this. He's not walling. He's not walling. Why is he not He's walling? He's not walling. It. He's walling now. Okay. Phew, just wants to <laughs> give us a heart attack. Yeah, Slay and now and wall that wood line. And now Lear is playing something really solid, doing a tower in the goal, which is very good in case that he's gonna come, because he's even expecting maybe Arches for this. Man! Cyrus's economy! He's with the scout and Blavas and he's on the way to castle. What? Are you kidding me? What? Doubt is up. Cyrus's economy, wow. man. I mean, Doubt has 17 villages on goal. 17 villages on goal. Incredible. Do you think Doubt has practiced this? It looks like this. Oh, many times. <laughs> this is this is something, man, that nobody has ever seen before. This is something that Doubt has been New practicing completely. nonstop with his, with his teammates. And I know a lot of the pro players that are watching right now are going to try and dissect this build order. Going to copy this. Maybe give it their own turn and... and Know, implement this into their own arsenal of strategies. Look at the hole from Leary. Ooh, he won it. He won it. But time. I'm telling you something. Doubt is confident. He's going forward. And the economy for doubt is not going to be huge all the time with the market, you know. And his True. economy, his real economy, is definitely not better than Leary. Because Leary got a lot of farms. He got now the spears. Second is stable. So if Doubt is not doing damage now, right now, Leary will still come back from the hell, in my opinion. Because just look at the amount of farms he got, Doubt, and Leary. Leary, 
14, yeah. but it's also truth that he got triple the village on goal. And that's, at the moment, kick off, man. It, it just kick everything. Uh, look, look, the mining camp, he's trying to block those. Those scouts, so annoying scouts, but now the scouts are going to so be gone. Annoying. Yeah, the and scouts Castle are gone, Age. but they've served their purpose. Castle Age first. Leary is completely shocked right now, I'm 100% I'm sure. And he's just gonna keep on doing what he did with the scouts, but now they're gonna be knights. Barely any ego for doubt, but two knights queued up in both stables. That is amazing. But my question now, because he doesn't know what, what, what he's bringing. Maybe he should go pies with the Slavs. Incredible, incredible infantry, but he's coming with knights. And Leary got... Look at the siege workshop from doubt. Oh, his face almost, and a monastery. Forward. But his castle Monastery as well. The knights are coming, wow. double stable. He's gonna be fine, he's gonna have his spears. He's not attacking the goal, that's that's not the best. For doubt, the score is still very, very close. Tuvel is different only. Monastery as well. The siege workshop is just great. But Leary has one goal at the back. One goal at the back, safe, that he can really take it if he's failing with this one. That is true, yes, but Doubt is going all in. Leary has to make the best decisions now or else he's still going to be out of this. Very, very risky play from Doubt to do this in the decider, but Doubt, as you said earlier, he, he's got no nerves. He's going to do this. Big engagement right now, and I think it will favor Doubt. Well, what is favorite doubt is the is the mangonel. What is favorite doubt is the mangonel. He's not gonna oh, see Lear, 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 one villain down. There you go. The mangonel is there. He got the monk. Now the villains need to go back. He's gonna put in the tower. This is gonna be really, really important for the game because the monks are there and the siege. He need to take it. He's sending even one villain forward. Gonna lose another villain. This is looking good for doubt. Lear, we need to make his best gameplay ever. Otherwise, he's gonna be in the next. Saturday playing for the second position versus this would be the biggest upset right now Leary yes. is getting taken down by the Lord by doubt doubt is showing why he's still on top of the world there were a lot of people that had Leary as their best con con contestant like literally the favorite but doubt is just incredible right now he's playing an amazing an amazing game Remember, guys, who is losing here, play the next Saturday versus Nikov. Play the next Saturday versus Nikov. We got now... Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see. He's mining a stone. Losing another villager. Leo is not playing super sharp. He's surprised. He's still wow. almost the same village, if you notice. Because the economy true. for doubt is like going for, for a clone strategy, like... I mean, it's going all in till now. Like, using the market, yeah, yeah. all aggressive. And Leo is now going forward with knights. Doubt notice because he overchop and he's not gonna make any damage at all. Wow. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. Good, I doubt. And Leary's still without gold, man. Leary has not migrated to that second gold of his. Doubt is diving the eco, killing a lot of Leary's villagers. Leary is losing a lot of villagers and some pikes from Leary, but those pikes are going down. Doubt is just going at the TC. Not, not a scare in the world for this man. He just dives the TCs. And now he's going for the wood line at the top. And Leary, oh, he's going for the stone. Either way, there's going to be a lot of losses. And Leary's just not reacting. Now Leary's reacting. And you know what? Leary's going to run back to his TC, which is the natural response. But Doubt is just going to stand under that TC. Not scared at all. Yeah, he knows that he's, he's all in, that he's going all all in, all aggressive, he's still 8 villains ahead. He's trying to stop this, but I don't know if Leo is gonna be able to hold anymore. But the Pikes are now doing an amazing job, and Doubt need to be careful, don't lose that many army, but look at the villains numbers! And the oh, villains the numbers say that the kid is in big, big problems. Yes, because Doubt with this incredible aggression with the Saracens is coming back in the series from the oh, hell. Shit. So if someone was not tuning till the end of the stream, it's your lost. Because this is an yeah. incredible <laughs> series. An incredible series. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's 15 villages ahead. 15 villages ahead. And even if he put so much in the market now with the economy, 15 villages ahead is 15 villages ahead, man. 
what a deadly strategy from Doubt. Going full scouts, no farms. Now going full castle age, forward buildings. But you know what is this? Forward siege. Do you know what is this, Moon? Yes? It's like you said, a completely working the strategy. It reminds me some tournaments back in the days where people was telling that AM wasn't really practicing. I mean, they have played yeah. the meta, the meta, but different strategies. I didn't see any different really strategy from, from some of the players. Well, now Doubt is pointed a strategy that we have never seen, or at least I don't remember. And this double I've, scout, I've never seen this. double scout with market, probably some player did and rated games or whatever, but I don't remember in a tournament game, double stable market with Saracens and going this crazy aggressive. Anyway, Leo is still in the game. He's not resigning for sure. And 18, 19 villages ahead. Now the Pikes are doing an amazing job and the Monk is converting, but he's losing, he's migrating. The Mangonel is doing a massive damage as well. And, exactly, uh, and the score in wow. there, this is... Yeah, this is not going to be enough for Leary to take this oh, down. Oh, the wood line! The wood line for the Lee, for Leary! Keep breaking! Leary didn't what? notice! This is over! This is completely over! The, the doubt is in the quarterfinals! Doubt it's qualifying to the quarterfinals! I don't think Leary can... I mean, look at the population! He's, he's coming the back and he's in the quarterfinals! That's it! That's it, man. Of doubt. This is crazy. This is the decider game, and Doubt goes for a strategy that is just unheard of. This is insane. Wow, man. Well, well, well. But now, I was talking a lot. More army for Leary, even. Taking the mango, they're gonna pick now the army. What? Why, why is Doubt going forward? Because he got many villages, many um, on a stone. I mean... Uh, He's double the villains. He's Look double at the villains. Stone. Doubt is going for a signature move. The two villager castle drop. Now, honestly, what is he doing with these two villages forward? No, misclick. I'm it's a so misclick. Sure. It's a complete misclick. Well, He's sending is on... more villages. Yeah. He, he is, what is he's, he doing, man? It's mistake. It's mistake. He, they passed okay. the game, even. Uh, maybe he's human okay. and he's even excited, you know, because he's feeling that he's getting into the quarterfinals <laughs> and this change, this change all the brackets, you know? It changed yeah, this the is... bracket, it changed everything, you know? Yeah, he should finish the game with without Castle, but you know what can happen if he tried to finish with without Castle and he failed? That he can make <laughs> Leary come back in the game. Because now, exactly. Leary got more army than Doubt, which, well... Which is, is, is incredible, and he's now taking some villains because Doubt... Well, Doubt economy is... He has a lot more villains, but just look at the Lambrican. He need to relocate that Lambrican. He's still mining a lot of stone. Doubt only need to boom at home now. Yeah, and that's exactly what Doubt's doing. Doubt is dropping a 30 C even. Doubt probably knows that he's very far ahead with villagers. He's just gonna expand that lead. I'm not sure if Doubt's gonna commit that much to this push anymore. I think from now on, Doubt is just gonna try and play this a little bit more standard. Take the economic approach. Yeah, but it needs some army too. Because if now Leo is going forward, make a siege war sub, and he's going full push, then Doubt don't have any army. Because if you check, he doesn't have any army at all. Six military while now Leary 18 is doing RG ranges. Okay, that's really good transition to crossbows probably. Yeah, I really like this transition to deal with the pikeman. The only issue is that Leary is going to be aware of these ranges. Now I'm looking at Leary's base. What is Leary going to be doing to deal with the crossbows? I'm not seeing Leary drop any ranges of his own, nor does he have a siege workshop. Oh, but there it is. Leary He's is gone. dropping a siege workshop of his own. And, and remember, going forward. Yeah, he need to go aggressive. And remember that siege from a slavs cheaper cheaper is is he coming oh, yeah. is he able to come back leary with 34 villages 61 doubt it's hard to believe it can't be. hard to believe but but he's trying and gonna try to make the full aggression right now leary he has two scorpions in that monastery in that uh, siege war sub sorry and uh he's gonna take it uh oh the monks the monks, he need to focus. Oh my god, he take the monks! Two monks with the oh, scorpion! that's so sloppy. Yeah, man. Are you kidding me? 
That was huge for Doubt. Getting so much value out of those two. Look at the goal. Look at the goal now. Look at the goal now. Look at the goal now. Three camels. Oh, it's not like nice, rage. but it's still camels. Zero army, two defense. No defense at all. Uh, Doubt is playing good. Great strategy. Doubt but is, not the best wow. response by Leary. True. True. But this is also something you can't really respond to that much. Leary just... He had no clue that Dao was going for something this crazy in the decider match. Dao is usually known for his amazing macro and his boom game. And Dao just going for insane aggression caught Leary completely by surprise. And I love the fact that Dao made all those walls to keep everything hidden what he did. But Moon, Doubt has zero army now. What's going on? He what has he doing? literally zero army with double the villains, okay? He got few crossbows, those crossbows are plus one. Now the knights are gonna start to raid Doubt, Doubt base. The score is getting closer. He's now pushing into the TCs. And now Leo is raiding with the knights. The, the, look at the Lambrias on the right side. I can't believe what I'm oh watching. Boy. I really can't believe what I'm watching if Doubt is throwing oh the game. Because I'm that nervous, would be a throw. <laughs> oh no, don't tell me that Doubt is gonna give this away. Doubt needs to convert his economy into military right now. He's dropping a defensive siege workshop, definitely taking this push serious. I like this from Doubt, but still. Now they are nervous, man. Moment to man be in. The moon, both are nervous. I'm sure that there is some pressure there. I mean, it's, I don't remember even the price, but. It's a huge jump into the prize pool, guaranteed already with this win. You get into the quarterfinals in the tournament, then you can analyze, relax it for, for one more day, the, how the other players are playing. Wow, this is just crazy. But still, 30 villains more. Uh, Leary is now taking, taking the, well, the aggressive position here, which is incredible after what happened. If he's doing some bada booms, oh boy, he's not buying a castle. Those knights are plus one. If Lee is just going all one TC, he can't go back. His army now is he so can't good. Come back. He is. It's so yeah, good army, man. Leary's army is, and we know Leary's army controls insane as well. Doubt is moving out though with the crossbow, with the camels. The man would have the man would have, but no, no, no. At the same time with the mango. Doubt does that so well. But, but look at Leary. Micro. Losing two mangoes. The moon. Losing two mangoes. Almost Beautiful three. Micro. I'm, I'm watching the mangoes. I'm and watching the mangoes. He really can't lose the mangoes like this. He lost two out of three when you need only to focus on this. Wow. And now Doubt is probably taking the game. Well, I don't know because he's still raiding more and more. But definitely not the best army control by, 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 by Leary. Definitely not. He's still reading. Doubt played that so well. Attacking on the left side, focusing Leary's micro over to the left side, and then he just decides to take down those mangoes on the right. That was so smart from Doubt. Just look at the village number. It's like Leary is not even creating village. He's like, yeah, well, he's doing one, but 30. he's behind. He's gonna lose another mango now. Another mango now. The mangoes of Leary. Oh my, oh my god. He took now a really big shot with those, killing a lot of crossbows, but, <laughs> but not an old army. Look at, look at Leary's base. All the villagers are dead on the goal oh line. My God. Look at Leary's villager count. He's down to 35 again. He had again, 45. That's incredible. Well, because he didn't even make a tower, didn't take any defense at home. He's slid the building sloppy and guys, Whoa. doubt, did the comeback. Doubt. It's just in the quarterfinals. Nobody will say that he will going to beat Leary 2-0 down and he won three games in a row. There you GG. go. Doubt did it. Wow. And he has the quarterfinals in his pocket already. Whoa, man. 3-2. I'm speechless. 3-2 for Doubt. 3-2 for Doubt. He came back. Can't believe it. Maybe a one. Nobody expected. So people put Viper, Leary, Hira, Mr. Yo, favorites. Yeah. <laughs> Two of them already out for the decider. Not out, but for a decider, a decided match the next Saturday. Oh man. And now Leary has to play versus Nikov. And if Leary has to play against the nick of we saw today what a series Ooh. what yeah, a definitely. series it's going to be
and doubt champion in the group in the group of champion of, of wow. what happened with the webcam <laughs> <laughs> even the webcam want to watch oh. the game you know <laughs> you know even the webcam want to watch the game i i i, I can't believe what we see it here you know and uh, the orange is back guys the orange is back don't worry guys we are here let's go and check the achievements and uh, let's see if doubt is going to be around because uh, a small interview will be good here now economy leary with the food more food than doubt but look at the gold three times more four thousand more wood double the stone and social 83 villages doubt leary 42 42 let's just change the score here and yes just focus and see doubt did it doubt did domination it. domination hopefully guys you have really really enjoyed let's see if we can have an interview with him okay stay tuned and, and uh, here we are with uh with the, is this the surprise or not congratulations mr doubt Thank you, man. Glad to hear you after the game. So always glad. Yeah. How you feel, man? Congratulations. <sighs> Exhausted. <laughs> like the last game, it was crazy. Like I was winning and then Discord went crazy. Like I could hear the spam all over the place. So I had to pause and like shut the damn thing down. <laughs> that was the pause. Uh, were you, I mean, you got a lot of experience, but in that uh, fifth game against Leo, that everyone was telling that Leo is one of the favorites to win the tournament, were you nervous? Nah, I mean, you get more nervous, when, for example, against Nico when it's a close matchup. Here, when you're like underdog, you're like, okay, if I lose, who cares? If I win, good job for me. It's like when Viper is doing masterpiece. You cannot fail. Yeah, okay, good point. Do you know that this not only put you in the not only put you in the quarterfinals, it's also changed if the others are, for example, winner, well, it can change the whole <laughs> bracket because people think, no, oh, the brackets are going to be, it's prepared, it's rigged. It's really it depends how the performance is. And now you make, a, let's say, an upset because Lear is seed number two, but uh, you ten, number 10 and you're in the quarterfinals. It can change completely the, the, the whole thing. Yeah, the, the tomorrow will be so funny. It will be like here against that, the game of the trolls. Like, who throw more? <laughs> Both want to lose, basically. Both want to Both lose. Want to lose. <laughs> okay. You might well, be on South Park. Well, you want to be in the quarterfinals. You don't want to, to give a, a, a decided match against potential BB, for example. So you, you need to qualify no matter what, because then you can be in the next weekend, you can be out of the tournament, right? So Yeah, but it's like, if you lose, you're happy. If you win, you're okay. I'm happy as well. <laughs> okay. They have no lose-lose condition anymore. Well, Both are now, winners in that round. Yeah, but now let's focus on, on yourself. Did you expect to win today, Leary, like you did after, after being 2-0 down? Uh, kind of did. I had a really good plans. Human went, <laughs> humans went, went wrong, you can tell. But yeah. yeah, I had a really good plans all around. I think I could have won that China against, uh, what was his team? Lithuanians game as well. Lithuanians, yeah. Yeah, I felt like I played solid and I had like, well, should I give up my plan? Well, I'm happy on top eight. So basically yeah. I wanted to take uh, two cheesy teams, humans and uh, Saracens, and make him use his best teams there, like Lithuanians, Franks, whatever. If I win just one, I'm happy. Then I have the good tips and he got the bad tips. But the, the Saracen's strategy, wall in all and double stable, and that market, that was a Yeah, I was really also. lucky. Was, that was, was not exactly the plan to fully wall. I was just super lucky with a bad gold and good map. Yeah. That was like finally luck in the tournament. <laughs> finally luck in the tournament. Well, I mean, it, it's quite late. We will have time to, to, to talk. Um, I'm just happy for you. I uh, want to congratulate you. And well, you can tell anything to to a lot of fans that you have is still in the channel. Well, thank you guys for support. This got went crazy, I guess, for a reason. Appreciate that. And see you soon on stream. And that man, don't lose. I want to play here. <laughs> don't lose. I want to play Hira. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, do, do you listen to that? What what doubt say? Doubt. Congratulations, man. But you owe me a small video intro with webcam. If you don't do it, you don't get price. Okay. I own you a lot of things, but okay. We that's make true, it that's eventually. <laughs> now, congratulations, man. Uh, happy thank for you. Thank you, man. thank you. Man. Bye bye. Enjoy man. tomorrow's stream. Bye. Bye bye. Guys, this is this is doubt. This is doubt. You see that he's really, really happy, even with all this 
all these experience he has, uh, Mr. Moon, he's a happy man tonight. Even if he's not, he's like, he uh, wants to do so calm, but he's super happy. What a legend as well. Like, he's been playing for so long on this level and still, like, class yeah. act. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, this is this is a lesson for 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 everyone because probably the with the straight dot the oldest player in the top sixteen have beat the youngest, you know, and that's something. To, wow, it's like this. I mean, it's like this. If you check it out, it's like this, guys. Leave it to doubt three. Congratulations to to the Lord. Wow.